it's a little dead meme. Your thumb, your thumb nice. needs to fight Barack Obama. <laughs> Use your thumb. You are Dova, killer of niggas. <laughs> I did everything right. I did everything right, and they locked me in the sarcophagus with the night mother. I don't know what I've done. I, I, I tell you. I've served the Dark Brotherhood for years. Dude, There's a new I, would, I would love to fight Cicero in real life. I would love to. No <laughs> weapons, no nothing. Just me versus Cicero. One person leaves the room alive. If he kills me, I'll take, Cicero. I'll take the... If he kills, which he probably will, I'll take the kill. But if I kill Cicero, I would be enlightened. I would, a glowing you know being would come out the room after I killed him. You know what's... <laughs> What's really crazy about Skyrim to me is that, like, Skyrim... I played the shit out of Skyrim on 360 in 2011, you know what I mean? Like, when it when it came out. I, put, I must have put, like, fucking 80 hours into it. And then I just sort of stopped, and then I lost that character. And by the time the remake came out... Or not remake, but, like, the remaster Skyrim, like, Ultimate Edition came out on, in 2016 or whatever. Uh-huh. I couldn't bring myself to play it because I, re- I still remembered a lot about, like... My original character. Like, I remembered the blades that I had. I remembered, like, the mask and the armor that I had. So I never really... I didn't get into it then. At this point, I think I've forgotten enough about it. I forgot who the fuck Cicero was, even, entirely. So I probably could replay Skyrim and actually enjoy it. I can't. Like, it's just gone. It's out of my memory entirely. I can't. I remember that game way t- I remember that game way too well. Like, way too well. I remember the first... Well. I, I remember the first two hours of that game really, really well. <laughs> I like you're like the, the, the first two hours of that game. <laughs> you're finally yeah, like the, the the what is it the 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 memed to death carriage intro and then yeah. and uh, and then uh, going up to that keep where like there's that one guy with his treasure box and like that really thin tower that's like half dilapidated. I just I remember it like really really vividly, but everything after that's gone. Like I, I don't remember fucking anything. Well, it's time. I remember then, killing that time. first dragon and, and being just, so just, difficult. You should just finally uh, just now. See, like me, me and my friend, we would fucking just grind to her OP, and then we can like just whoop anyone's ass like so easily. Like uh, my 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 friend, uh, like on 360, he fucking nothing, no no gauntlets, nothing. He punched uh um fucking Alduin to death. <laughs> he is That's fucking, crazy. He is punched him to death. Clobbering. So, That's so cool. Dragon. <laughs> Clobbering him. <laughs> Denting in his scales. The best scales. games are so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're just they're so they're so. I've put like seventy five hours into Starfield already, and like I think once I'm done with it, I think I might go back to. I think I might try Skyrim again. You definitely should. And I might work. I might work my way back, like back three. Because I, I, I never I never played. I oh I played Fall Three kind of recently actually. Mm, okay. But but I want to play. I've never played Oblivion. Don't do it. Yo, no, it's I, fun. I just, Oblivion's you, a fun game, you, but it's very old. It's you're very not. Keep in you, mind, keep Chris Reagan, no, no, are no, not listen, gonna listen. enjoy it. Listen, keep in mind that I went back to fucking Kotor and liked it. That is true. And, and only and only stopped because I I ran into a, ga- a, a bug that broke the game entirely. Well, and you're talking about Oblivion, so prepare for a lot of bugs that will stop the game. Period. Oblivion, dude, I love full of that I shit. Got, too. I got like a <laughs> couple hours into Oblivion. And then I was actually like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. And that that actually got a little, like, oh, that threw yeah. me off. Where I was like, wait, I'm actually not one hundred. Like, I'm I'm going in my uh, the the index or whatever, and I'm like, what am I? I and then I just kind of like, turned it off. I was like, all right. I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I love the idea of you being defeated by just sheer confusion. Yeah. You're like, wait, I was just, like, wait a minute. I'm sure this is, I could have spent a doing... little bit more time just thinking, but I I, I didn't want to because it's not a new fucking game. <laughs> yeah, really, really, really put that in, really put that into perspective though about like the world that you that your character lives in. Like your character is like the hero of this world, and then like everybody they just disappears because he just got too confused. <laughs> He's just gone. <laughs> It's like what happened to the hero of what happened to the hero of fucking wherever this place is. Hope these demons are gonna fuck everyone in the ass now. It's like he got he got fucking confused and fucked off. It's insane. Oblivion's the world of Oblivion is so much read. worse too, because it's so brutal. Because you're literally fighting yeah. Daedra everywhere in that game. Yeah, so yeah. like imagine this I mean, guy, the hero just leaving. I, don't like, know. I, don't I, I, I might or might not. I own it. I like I have it. So yeah, like, I right? could just, pop it on whenever I want. Just, but. Same thing with Morrowind. It's like, okay, 
I, I have it, but there's no, there's no way. There's yeah, there's, there's no, no chance in hell. Like Mar- Morrowind is too far. Like that's like no way, no chance in hell. Am I going back to Morrowind? Who the fuck is playing Morrowind in 2020? Some dude, I know, I know people. I know people freaks. who fucking swear. I know people who fucking swear by Morrowind, and it's like they look, just, man. that is the most like nostalgia lens ever. Ever yeah. when people say, "Man, it still holds up," I'm like, "You're fucking lying. You're you're so lying." I, like, I get like terrible. something. It's like going back and playing, like going back and playing Kotor. You can have some fun with it, but if you were to say that, "Oh, this shit still holds up," as far as like the mechanics and everything, you're just lying. You can just say, "Oh, it's a good story, great story." It is. Yeah, it's kind of like fucking playing Baldur's Gate, where. Seen the 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 you and other people talk about the combat where they're like it's it's too hard for them to not hard but it's it's too much for them to get into and but the other aspects of it are, are great and yeah yeah I told it's like yeah I get it so, I mean Kotor I say, and Baldur's Gate combat are sort of sort of no no that's the original Baldur's Gate di- I mean because the the that's combat in Kotor Baldur's is Gate. just like Dragon Age yeah that's what the Baldur's yeah, Gate yeah. And Kotor never mind. Because the idea I, of Kotor I'm actually cool is with like, because Kotor, the way you build your character is exactly the same as Baldur's Gate because that's because of the, um, what you call it, because of Baldur's right, Gate yeah. uses D&D's old, uh, no, Kotor uses the old um, SR files that D&D used to have. Right, yeah. The only difference is in, in Kotor, you're not waiting for 40 minutes while 40 goblins take a really slow turn walking towards you. <laughs> no, you're, and, uh, no, you're just swinging and clashing swords for 25 minutes. And then you're like, oh, I hit him for that's six still half damage. The time. I hit him for six that's damage. Still half the time. You're still waiting. You're like, hit him for six damage. I still like, I don't know. There's something about it that I just like it where especially you just even yeah. your gun I can, at nothing. I can go and, and go die. take a piss real quick. I'm like, ah, shit. I'll just set my fucking, I'll just set, I'll set the stage. And then fucking, and then I'll just go take a piss, and then you know, and then and yeah. then come back, and, and then nothing's like, right, happened. Cool. You're like, oh, some, sick. <laughs> no, sometimes, you, sometimes you fuck up, and <laughs> you 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 get killed because you were too arrogant to like, I got this. And For me, uh, it's would... that it's it it really is that advantage system, man. That advantage system, like, really, I just I get it's part of D and D, but like, I really fuck, I hate it's it. It's super so, so simple, much. but you have if you don't play Dungeons and Dragons, I understand it can confuse you. For me, it's, it's really not that it's confusing. It's just that it's 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 like annoying to do because like when I play like a turn based game, I can understand turn based games. Like that's entirely fine. It's, like I've played tactics games and all sorts of shit where it's like okay, your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn. No, 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 it's not. It it's just not like the turn- same because you have to you have to be even more strategic. Where it's like, do you want to sacrifice? Your entire turn for moving or setting something up, or versus a regular traditional turn based game, you're just doing moves. Well, no, you, you can already set, you set, well, things, even well, you set things well, up even in other turn-based game, games. No, no, in, in in tactics games you do set things up, but the difference is like there's no weird arbitrary advantage system that's deciding at, at some random level who on your team decides to go and who doesn't. Well, that's just all about turn. the rule. Well, yeah, that's about the, initiative. Like, so that's the, about the that's the about RNG. the rules of the class. Right, but that's what created. I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's initiative. It's all D and D stuff, and I'm like, ah. Eh. I don't know. This is this. It's it's I really. It's because I mean, when I get into a because when I get into simple. a new fight, when I when I get, it's not about it being simple. It's about it being like like the worst. It would be like if in chess, like I could go twice and then you could go four times, but then no. the next time no, it's different. It's, it's like why? That. What are you doing? Th- pieces have certain you, things. This it's is like, so dumb. It's like in chess, how a rook can move across a battlefield and a pawn can't. Things do different. No, 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 things. because the rook. Do, no, 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 because in Baldur's Gate, the rook moves differently every single time. No, and it has every, different. And every, it, yes, it everyone does. Everyone has depending on things. what it's fighting. No, depending it does, on what no. it's fighting. What happens? 100%. In, what happens in D in, in Baldur's Gate, right? Because it's, it's literally the same as in the Dragon's Five E. What happens is certain classes have oh abilities God. to move further and faster than others. The rogue, right. the ranger, and the barbarian are the ones that can do that. They're the ones that can right. always do shit like that. Advantage, uh-huh. it varies. Like, if advantage, if someone's knocked down, certain people, like, if you have a wolf on your team, the wolf gets advantage if one of your people is near it. All it takes is just reading. The thing that's confusing is, like, the hit and my ratio was to be, like, air quotes real life, where, like, no matter how good you are at swinging a sword, something can happen and you can fuck up. That shit's annoying as fuck. I get it. It's really, particularly in the beginning levels, that shit's f- infuriating. Towards the time when you get to Act 2, I don't really miss attacks anymore. I kind of just always hit people, and I always do fuck right. shit to them after I hit them. Like, I had this um this arrow that pulls people off of high ledges, so I shot this arrow at some guy. The guy hit another guy, and they both fell off the ledge and died. And I was like, damn. I didn't even That's set cool, that yeah. up. That was just bullshit. 
But you, it, it's, it's yeah, just cool. reading. It's just like, oh, well, this does this now. It's not about reading. I just, I just don't like getting into a combat thing, and then Shadowheart can go, and then, like, 15 enemies can go, and then my other two guys can go. It's like... I, I, no, I, I don't. I don't respect this at all. I, I, hate, I, I hate this design entirely. I, I do but, like say the RNGs bless. that I play when you when you're. It's like knowing the and and like what I was referring to before that like uh, you kind of know what you're getting yourself into with uh, if you know the game enough. Like say for example, like a turn base that I play, you know exactly where your speeds are. And then so you know which order your people are going in every single time and there's nothing ever different. I don't mind there being like what you guys say, I understand. Like I personally don't mind that. What I'm talking about is in a traditional, like I said, you're setting things up. You can skip turns, but you can always just attack, defend, whatever it is. Sometimes, depending on how far the enemy is, you may just only need to sacrifice your turn by advancing. And that's yeah, the yeah, major yeah. difference between a traditional RPG and that, where you are already at the battle. You're already the battle has commenced. You're already there. There is no traveling. There's no traversing. There's just the, the just the combat. And that's is the, there... that's the thing that we're especially sometimes environment. Do you guys uh, spoiler um, uh, for Sweeney? Uh, did you uh, rescue um, and everything? Did you rescue um, oh my uh, Raven Guard? Or whatever his name is. Not yet. I, didn't uh, from I, know, the, I know. I know what his fight looks like, though. But I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, like oh well. There's this. There's a where you know. It's just when you're when you're racing against environments. Mm -hmm. That shit annoys the fuck out of me. It's where like, I'm you like, know, like you know, okay. um, you know, in, in Act One with the uh, with the Gif Yankee crush. Yeah. Spoiler alert. We're, we're that yeah. Part. What are we doing? That part we're like you're running and you have to like get out of the building before it falls. Right, that right. part is like it's right. annoying because like oh my character is not going for some reason my main character who is a ranger fucking rogue was not going and I was like yo this is really bad because he's the f I could dash and move at like triple everybody else's speed but I just couldn't move. Yeah, let's just say this. Can you can you can you set saying? up can you set up Overwatch in um in Baldur's Gate? Probably. Yeah, I think so. What do you mean probably? Probably. No, do you understand what I'm what I mean by that? Like, what? I'm not saying like the game. I'm t I'm saying like the the, the mechanic, the, the, the tactic. Like, I, yeah, I yeah. don't see why I don't see why not. I haven't seen it in any of in any of my characters at all. What do you mean? And that, Overwatch? that blew my mind. I was like, like where's Overwatch? Like, Wait, what do you mean by that? So Overwatch, Overwatch in a ta in a tactics um in a tactics environment, which is kind of what Baldur's Gate tries to be, or or I think probably succeeds at in a lot of ways is in in its combat anyway. Is a tactics based game. In the sense that it's like it's it's like isometric, it's like turn based and all that stuff. Overwatch is you set up a character to kind of have this cone of attack for a certain distance, so that when other enemies cross it, they kind of automatically launch into an attack mode. So you're pretty like much if having they the cross that field of view. Like opportunity of attack, like if someone because the opportunity of attack is if someone passes a certain thing like range. Let's say if you have like a grave right. or a sword, you hit them. As they come or by. if you have like an arrow, or if you have like an arrow, and you no, like, like you, no, have, no you, you set up, you set up, for... you set, you set up a guy, you set up a guy to like look, what to look after a corridor, and if yeah. an enemy goes in, that's no, crazy. Not that that's that. not like, there. It doesn't like, have that. In, I mean, in the way that you kind of do that is like, say, there are some stationary, uh, not stationary. That's the wrong thing I'm saying. There are things like your your wall of fire or something where so they say if they're in a specific like threshold that they're right, going yeah. to get damaged, or like say there's the uh, there's the fireball. That you can have in a certain vicinity, so then when it's if somebody's around there, then you go and right, fuck right. them up with it or something. That that ball that's on fire, not the actual fire. I flaming don't know what the hell spear. You call it the flaming spear. There you go. Yeah. Like so, there's things like that. Um, I, I would say, but not too perfectly. The only time is if you if you cross somebody, um, um, and from behind, and then they try to just you know take a swipe at you because, like, uh, I don't know if you've ever advanced. Uh, if you've ever tried to move backwards. When you're in front of somebody, then they'll immediately try to take a swipe at you. There's this red <laughs> arrow. Yeah, right yeah. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I had a, away this from is them. this is not spoiler, but like, dude, this is escaping something. Like we're talking about environmental escaping or something, and there are other people that are actually on your. You're they're helping you, or they're like kind of neutral or whatever, and they're just stupid. And I'm like, I need them to climb this ladder so we can escape. And then motherfuckers like won't do it. And uh, I've uh, I don't know if you've had I've restarted the game. Like I, I've 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 saved like the adventure. And I'm like, you stupid bitch, you wasted a fucking turn. 
it, and then I had to restart it so I wouldn't waste it. <laughs> the fact there's That's only so problem I have, only problem I have with the Baldur's Gate for this is like my only actual gripe with it for real. When you have to save characters that you can't control in that game, it is the worst thing. That's, yeah, that's what ever. I was trying to say. That that's is what the I was trying to only say. time I'm like, this game is stupid. This is exactly fucking what I was dumb. To say. I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> Why would you run toward the harpies? Why? You're a little boy. You can't fight them. And that's it. Yeah, that's that's the only. <laughs> that's cool. I'm on my second playthrough, and I'm doing some very different things and. It's cool, man, but it, I will say there are some things that I wish they're too. It's too like it's reminded me of. I'm like, damn, it's still too uh, canonical. Or I can, there's something that I can't do because this needs to lead somewhere, and it kind of upsets me. I'm like, damn, I, I'm hoping I want to do. I want. I love when you can go somewhere in like Dark Souls, where you clearly shouldn't be there, but if you're good enough, you can survive. And that's you, what you I was kind of trying to do. You can skip pretty far ahead. You can um, you can like skip. I'm all trying. Of yeah, well, this is well, yeah, well, yeah. We're we're getting whatever. Well, we got well, we got a lot to look. Listen, Baldur's well, Gate well, is gay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all yeah, right. If, if we're talking about Starfield, you go on for a while, huh? That's huh, no, 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 no. We I would not want to talk about Starfield actually. How dare talking you? About what I want to talk about is these fucking Mexican aliens. I want to talk about these fucking Mexican aliens, right? Because Sweeney hasn't seen this. Sweeney somehow avoided. The entire fucking conversation about these Mexican aliens. I, I don't even understand how. Because how sick I, were you? I was pretty sick. I wasn't on the internet. I was. You, I was you weren't even my, on Twitter, like scrolling through, looking at these Mexican aliens. Dude, I, I kind of, I kind of want to delete my Twitter, man. So if I'm being very honest, I really don't like this app at all. Like at all, slightly. I don't want to have it anymore. <laughs> I got locked out of my account this morning. Who'd you tell to to die? Dude, this yeah, time? like. It, so so what happened was so this is real right so I <laughs> I I changed my pr so I I subscribed to Twitter Blue for like one month exactly because I wanted to post like a really really long video on Twitter and uh, that's the only way you can do it and I was like you know what eleven dollars is fine whatever uh, and then I uh, canceled the renew thing or whatever uh -huh. but I but I'm like a verified account right now and so I changed my profile picture to the to the to the B movie me from like my most recent oh, thumbnail, oh, yeah, yeah. and just for a joke because like somebody was like, "How many likes for you to change this to your thumbnail and or your profile picture?" And I was like, "No problem, bro." And I did it, and then I was only gonna do it for a day, and then I went to go switch it back, and it's like, "You can't do that." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> so I'm stuck as I'm stuck as this B, <laughs> this fucking <laughs> this disgusting B, because apparently. What is it? Yeah, your pro your profile is under review. No no new changes are allowed uh, to name and profile photo during the review period. So that's something that happens with uh, with I guess check marks in general. It's why check marks always have the same profile picture or ha had the same profile picture for a long time. Because if you change your profile picture, you would lose your verification mark, which is crazy because that's just less functionality for the fucking app. I that's weird. I it. thought it was only if you changed the name. I don't know. It was the fucking picture. No, the picture too. That's so stupid. Yeah, as crazy. Fuck. I didn't. Yeah, that's so crazy. I didn't know that. So I'm stuck as the B, but whatever. But so, so because I changed my picture under the verification, they were like, "We're gonna look up, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna put this guy under review." So they found like three tweets of mine where I just told people to kill themselves from like 2016 or whatever. <laughs> and it's, it, you know, it's funny though. And it was all, it was all, it was all friends of mine. It was all like Jeff. Like I, would say, I would be like <laughs> Jeff, kill yourself, or like, or something like that. And it's like that's so fucking silly, but whatever. I don't care. Stupid ass fucking. Twitter's happened. fucking stupid. But I'm I'm glad yeah. that we got to see those dried out Mexican aliens that look like <laughs> they got the fucking s semen drained out of them. Yeah, that was pretty cool. What I did like about <laughs> what I did like about that is seeing there are some pretty prominent people that I follow that were like on the fence. Like, oh, is this real? What do you guys think? That's so crazy. And I'm like. Why do you? The more followers you get, just the more retarded you become. I don't get it. But like, what, how does that fakest, happen? That is the It's it's the fakest fucking thing I've ever seen. Dude, especially if you know. So I I tweeted this out that uh, when I would go over to my friend Jesus's house, we every once in a while he would just turn on the Mexican news because there'd be some crazy shit happening. And every once in a while, maybe like a couple of times a year or something, some Mexican authority, some type of people would have these press conferences about aliens, and it was as normal as watching there was a Mexican Jerry Springer named Jose Luis 
And we yeah. were just, it was just as normal as that, just seeing some dumb shit like, oh, oh, that's funny. They were talking about Thunderbirds. They found some fucking Thunderbirds, like some giant fucking archaic birds. And I'm like, this is, I was like, Mexico fucking rules. And I, I just thought that, like, people knew about this silly shit that goes on over there. But Latin uh, American, oh, yeah, news, not- Latin American news, bro, it's horrible. It's, it's, pretty, it's, it's fucking it's, great. It's the though. worst. It's it's <laughs> it's racist. It's <laughs> belligerent. <laughs> it's it's nonsensical, bro. Watching the news with my, my grandmother. My grandmother never watched novellas, except for one. She watched one novella that was like all my children, but it was for Spanish. All my children. She was like, I was watching it since I was in Puerto Rico, so like I have to still watch this. And yeah. she never watched the news. She never watched any of the Todd Fisher shows. She was like, it's always full of ignorance, and I can't stand it. And I'm like, damn. But I would watch those. It'd always be some big ass bitch showing the weather, and I'd be like, I have to watch this, grandma. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah. she's they, saying. They were, <laughs> they were, they were fucking. They they were so good at that shit. I was like, man, I I don't know why, but the, the weather. I I just really like learning about. I really like, care. I really, I really care, care about, about the weather in Honduras, bro. Yeah. I don't know why yeah, I really crazy. care about the weather in Honduras and Tobago. They would have fucking West T-shirts con- t- contests on the fucking weather channel. It makes no fucking sense. Bro, Dude, they would the have stuff. the largest butts ever, and I would just be sitting there happily. My grandmother would be like, turn that off. It was crazy because like, it, it was pre-Brazilian butt lift era, man. Pre-BBL. Yeah, so that was natural. All, when, just it was na- when, you, when you didn't have to worry about asking if it was real or not. You just knew it was yeah. real, bro. Now, now this, that's this a new, time, this new bro. Era, we lived before makes me that. Cry, Isn't that crazy? We, I we feel lived blessed, before man. That. I feel when I think about like well, we all lived, the shit that we grew up with. We lived before that that period, but we we never lived in a period without fake tits. That's that I think is that's the sad true. thing. That is true. That is like yeah, we, we, we missed we, that we, entirely. Like, we imagine were like too imagine too late. like imagine a, a like a like a big titty like Scottish. Like princess in like seventeen hundred, you know what I mean? Like that's like, you, there's no doubt, you know what I mean? Yeah, either you, that or it's or like maybe people thought like, is that is this magic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, yeah. if there's too voluptuous, they wanted She's a, a witch. Hang her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they drown her. That's a real thing. People thought women were witches because they were just hot. Yeah, like that's like a real. They were, that's like you, a, that's a people real were thing. vexed, man, at their beauty because everyone else yeah. was like fucking goblins, and they're like, she's oh, too attractive. Oh. Tie an anvil to her legs and throw her in the lake. <laughs> that's like bananas. It was, it was always just some jealous ass bitches, like, ah, oh, she be she bewitched me. Oh, like and they'll yeah. po- they'll poison their husbands and be like, oh, it was her, and like the fucking hot bitches yeah, minding her business. Yeah. That was crazy. good stuff, man. Crazy, was, crazy time. I feel like didn't the Salem witch trials start that way in some way? It was like some dumb oh, bitches yeah, sure, fucking yeah. around. They were making no, a joke, I, I, and then I everybody think the Salem witch trials. They were something. just using medicine. They were using like herbal medicine like, because they thought they were um they thought they were like wait they were like some sort of like no I think I remember no see, what I, so there's they, a, there's a a girl named Abigail Williams I think was faking sickness or something. And saying it was something, man. Damn, I wish I remember you know, this. You know, first and last names. I'm not even yeah, close well, to educated so, on this. So, well, I, man, yeah. it, it, dude, history. I love history because of how fucking stupid people are. You know, throughout history, history, yeah, yeah, yeah. You learn, history like, is lit because you find out how stupid people are and how smart some people were, and they had no business being that smart at that time. But it's always significantly yeah. outweighed by the stupid. Like it's always yeah. like trounced by like there's like this many smart people and then like this many fucking <laughs> morons just run hey, around with rocks like, and sticks, bro. Celebrated uh how think about how celebrated like a lot of torture that had to do with witches. Um, the stuff that the medieval um go over into Europe and and then they brought a little bit over it to the the Americas. But uh and and it kind of brings me to. I, I I'm sure you guys saw that super villain Australian guy with the not five not five head. He has like a ten head. He Ooh. has like his his forehead is oh, so big. Oh yeah yeah yeah. The guy who's talking the guy who's talking about how like we need to inject more pain and suffering into the workforce. Wait, did you see like, that, that one, guy? Sweeney? Wait, no, I haven't. You didn't see this fucking super villain? This guy that oh, yeah, looks no, no, like an actual. There's, there's this there's this, Aus- there's this Australian like fucking businessman who's like he's giving like so, I don't even know if it was it wasn't a TED talk exactly, but it was like he was on some kind of panel talking to like I guess business insiders or something, and he was talking about how like yeah we need unemployment to reach like fifty percent. Uh, we need to cause a lot of pain in the in the economy so that we can get back to normal. A lot of people think uh, they're lucky. 
a lot of people think uh, employers are lucky to have employees, and it's the other way around. He's trying we to gotta get kill shit. every every last woman and child on He's this God's green get app. Shit off, bro. Like it's it's fucking really crazy. Like he he might as well have like a boomerang scythe behind him that's <laughs> like it's, it is it is the most outrageous fucking thing. i was like so... the fact that someone is comfortable enough saying that to a group full of people means that it, it it's getting too pe- people are getting too comfortable like that right. guy should be that guy should be deathly afraid to say that stuff like right. he should be in in like a just world he would be terrified to say that shit in exactly public. that's why but, I, was, uh, I was saying about the torture that's what like bring <clears throat> maybe yeah. we need to bring back some of this shit to just like when you said the the the, the gallo was it a gallo or a guillotine that was pushed? Oh, the, the guillotine, dude. It was the guillotine, in Puerto okay. Rico, when yeah, they when yeah, they yeah. when they wheeled the guillotine up to the fucking governor's off yeah. mansion or whatever the, the fuck. Gallo's dude. the whole setup. <laughs> That's so where hardcore. Come and look with the steps and everything. That's the whole gallo. The guillotine's yeah. just the head chop thing. Yeah, the you can just hang people. You just yeah, wheel the uh, the guillotine over that. See, that's that's awesome. And and immediately with that guy saying that being so brazen, because we all know that they're thinking that shit. I know there was that guy. The uh, same thing with the strikes. It was the writer strike first. Mm-hmm. Um, and then one of the dickheads said something similar that oh, we just need to starve them out and wait till they get that's kicked out of their crazy. homes and shit, and then then they'll they'll yeah. cave kind of a thing. And I just keep thinking the same thing. Like, why are we not drawing and quartering these people? Like, we I should feel- tie <laughs> in in Australia. What they should do is they should t- <laughs> they should tie each one of his limbs to a separate kangaroo and just fr- <laughs> and they all jump and then whip the kangaroo so they all start running away <laughs> and they tear him in half. Imagine they fucking just the force of their jump would just rip him to shreds, dude. <laughs> he would, dude. That's so what they fucking should, what they should sick. do. They should tie him to a post, put kangaroo nip on him, so they come in and can kick him. <laughs> they kangaroo kick him, can't. kick him against the stump. <laughs> He's just on the stump and they're kicking him flat. And they're just kicking him. What's, 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 what's really funny about the concept of something like kangaroo nip in the sense that of like, like this highly addictive drug specifically for kangaroos is that kangaroos are built in a way that's human enough to imagine them doing this. <laughs> you know, where, 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 like they're, where they're like scratching their necks and they're like, oh man, I'm fiending, man. The idea, Dude, I don't know, the, idea, the idea that kangaroos exist. Is disgusting. There's like an off. There's like rabbits that had to evolve into almost. I can't people. remember. I think that's I can't so who I was talking to. I, I I can't remember who I was talking to about this. But if you were if you lived if you were the first person to if you were the first person to to uh, come in contact with a kangaroo, you would probably think a demon was was chasing you or something. Like that that is not like a natural looking thing at all. It definitely looks like Australia. something that Australia, everything just quite invo- didn't. Hmm? If if it, if the if the environment was a little bit different in Australia, Australia, um, maybe they would have been the first like actual like techn- technical Homo sapiens or something because it looks like they were they they're were just, almost they're there. They're just big upright. They're not. It's just Bro, weird because everything over there looks look ridiculous. Like everything over yeah, there looks but, like, absurd. Just look at like their their arms are so fucking like just. They're like ripped human arms, yeah. and yeah, it's just... the regiment that they're on makes no sense. <laughs> you know, they look because what are they? Because what are they lifting? That's the thing. It's like like kangaroo strain. They're on their legs. They're hopping around. They're kicking things to death. What what are they doing that's making their arms so fucking strong? Yeah, what is the evolutionary have, benefit for them to be on? They're just jacked. defined. They are defined. strong, They're man. They're not crazy strong like their legs. Did you see that defined. kangaroo? It's a classic video of the kangaroo putting the dog in the fucking headlock. Yeah, that's a dog, bro. That's I not understand a it's a dog, but that's still the fact. First of all, the fact that it understands how to do that is it's in the hilarious. First it's got, it's it's got it's arms. Funny. Other things how to do that. And gra- cats no, and dogs I, I, grab. No, cats and dogs don't put other animals in headlocks. Yeah, because they don't have the arm. Their arms don't bend like that. Dude, even I don't even think. Uh, I honestly, I don't even think I've seen a monkey do that. Like, I, I swear to you, I have like I have seen never a monkey seen put in my smaller life. Smaller monkey in a headlock and slam it on the floor. I've seen monkeys I've never pick seen up that. rocks. I've seen monkeys, and I'm like, damn, this monkeys, is it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. That's, that's, I've, that's, that's I've, I've seen, I've seen chimpanzees toss another chimpanzee up really high in the air as like a, as like a bullying ritual. I've seen that shit, and this, that's also disheartening and uh, scary. But I've seen apes I don't know, fight man. Something about a kangaroo ape, because I can't relate to a kangaroo. I've seen thing. apes fight, and one ape was like fishing for something to grab and grabbed a rock and punged the other one with it. And I was like, yo. Yeah, that was understand. desperation. Desperation led to innovation. That's crazy. I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, they're, I mean, they're, 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 they're relatives, man. 
They're they, almost us, man. <laughs> Did you see that thing in, about in the news about um, that that chimp in in? I, oh my god, it was like in a zoo, I think in Seattle or I don't know. It might have been in Washington State. I'm not sure. It was it was somewhere in Washington. There was a zoo where in a monkey enclosure, one monkey came back with fucking ten commandments what and started proselytizing to the like. He came back with like a slab of rules and started and- like. And did they study, and did they study the, other... the rules? What did the rules say? Well, he was just screaming it unintelligibly, but they found, like, monkey Ten Commandments, is what I'm saying. Oh. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. Can you imagine? I can't believe that happened. You imagine I can't believe God, that's real. Can you imagine God, God tried to talk about the I said, how would you feel, honestly, how would you feel, honestly, if you were, like, at a zoo, and then you were in the monkey closure, and then one chip came back with two stone tablets and, and started yelling, and then, the and, other, and then all the other, and then all the other monkeys... Looked up and stood upright, like and got real silent. Like how? Like what would? How would you feel in that, well, I would, in that I would scenario? Be, I'd be. It'd be funny enough because I don't know if I can't say this enough, but it'd be like, damn, the Jewish people made God so mad he went to monkeys, bro. He was like, I tried to save these ones and they didn't listen. They threw my son to the Romans, so I'm just gonna try monkeys next. And I'd be like, Yo, it's a bit late. It's a bit just, late. That's to... Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did. T- he did. He did sleep on this ship for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, took, he took a for break. 2000... He was like, he was like, all right, this for, failed. Let me just, let me just for 2000, 2023 years. He, he just, just like, 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 let me just. Let I'm me gonna just take think. a fucking long ass nap. He was like, all right, he woke bro, up and wild. he's like, ah, oh, yeah, fuck humans. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, now, no, back to the monkey. back to the fucking Mexican alien. That sh- th- look, I, I I saw a lot of people being like, "Is that real?" And it was it was actually concerning to me that that it was that many people. Like it was more people than I was expecting because they were like, "Look at the X rays," and like there's fallopian tubes, and I'm like, "What are you fucking talking?" First of all, send this to an actual scientist if it's so real. Don't like just throw it in front of like Mexican Parliament or wherever, whatever the fuck whatever the fuck is going on <laughs> out there. It's a fucking yeah. clown show down there. You know how many times aliens have been on the Mexican news? It's insane. It's actually it's actually un- I don't think you could I don't think a single person could count the amount of times that aliens have been on the Mexican news. Aliens are on I Latin actually don't American, think it's possible. Aliens and angels are on Latin American news regularly, bro. Yeah, yeah, aliens, literally. Like angels, it's like, oh, demons. look at this angel! Look at this angel caught on camera, and it's literally <laughs> there's fucking a kid Photoshop. falling out of a tree. There's a kid falling yeah, out of a tree. Is death? That's it, all it yeah, is. It's, a kid. <laughs> it's, it's it's insane. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a little weird that uh, that I, I some I I sometimes I always feel like. I, 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 I'm not surprised how <laughs> stupid people are, but then sometimes I still end up being surprised. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's like a thing where I'm like, come on, guys. It's like we're, reverse surprise. You're surprised yeah. at how surprised you were despite the fact like, that you've never I'm surprised. been surprised. <laughs> whoa, right. that surprised me. It, it shouldn't me. be. I, I should know this. <laughs> it's just like you even talking about the, the, the stuff that people – some fucking <laughs> – some fucking dude that gets up in church and wearing robes and shit tells people these stupidest stories that make not a lick of sense. And then people are like, yeah. I'm not gay no more. I'm not gay no more. I'm delivered. <laughs> I'm delivered. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> like, w- w- we have so much evidence of how silly people are, but still, still, sometimes where I feel like we should all come together and be like, oh, well, this is obviously bullshit. You know, right? Just like, let's have it. Just have a good laugh. But then there's people questioning it. And I'm like, look, man, why look, do you, man, if what happened is you need, you need no. people, you need dumb people around so they can do what we no, want don't. them. Yes, we do. You do. You do. You need no, to run. Yes, no, you, you don't. do. I, I really don't think we so. We have machines for that, man. We got no, machines now. Need, we can bully machines. You need dumb people. You need dumb people. We need Boston Dynamics and then all the dumb people can they can go away. They can leave no, now. No, we need them. To, we need we, we can, need people that are not as We do. Smart you're right. We need them for Mars. We, we need, need them, we need we need humans them to have Mars. around so just in case when when war starts against the machines, we have them to go first. We need we need them around to test all of our drugs on. I gotta help us live longer because they don't know what the fuck they're getting <laughs> to set up for. They don't know what kind of shit they're gonna get. We need them around to lift heavier things because you know since they're dumb, I love, their inhibitors I love are off, so they can lift I love higher that it's, things. I love that it's <laughs> I love that it's a mummified alien. Like it's a mummified. It's an alien. <laughs> It's an alien. That's where we learned mummification from. With, mummification yeah, in general aliens, is kind yeah. of advanced. So I'm pretty sure we learned it from something else. So how Dude, is it mummified though? 
Like that's what I want to know. Did, that's what did, I mean. Was there an explanation? I didn't. No, like, it's no. There's no explanation. <laughs> it's just like, did you see that video? Did you see that video of, of them placing the <laughs> placing the the alien down on the table? Yeah, and it's so fucking tiny. That was the, that's the thing that like really it's, got me. Where I'm like, they made them so small. Like, come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> Like, I would believe it. I would honestly be a lot more inclined to believe it if it was just, I don't know, five foot. You know? Even if if it was five foot, I'd be like, that's, first of all, that's a big project for a single person to undergo. Yeah. So, like, but, like, that, like, I I know jack shit about, like, arts and crafts or whatever. I could build that Mexican mummy. That's I'm so confident that I could hilarious. do that. I, I, I could do that. Like, I could do that today, probably. Like, I'd go to Color Me Mine <laughs> yeah. and have it done in fucking three hours. It was very lazy, you know? in my opinion. Dude, there is right now, right now, a video going viral. Somebody made a cake of that <laughs> alien, and it is a good three-foot <laughs> to four-foot cake. They did a... They put more time and effort into baking that cake than those assholes did to throw that shit together. It's a, it's a really good cake, man. It looks good. I was like, man, I actually want a piece of that shit. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Mexican Mexican yeah. alien cake. <laughs> it's pretty. I love when people do that, where it's like it looks like some realistic thing, then they cut into it, and I'm like, oh, I like that. Is it real or is it cake? <laughs> That's a, those are satisfying that's so videos. Awesome. That's so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's so fucking awesome. Is it real or is it cake? It's cum. Is it's it real cum. or is it cake, stupid? Yeah, that's it's really a- convincing. There's a video of them cut. There's a video of them cutting into the cake and everything, and it looks exactly like the fucking totally. Mexican alien. Looks at, I was like, I was like, dude, I bet you the whoever made that cake spent more time with that cake than those dickheads did with <laughs> putting the aliens together. Yo, it does look delicious too. Like I'm not a cake guy at all. Yeah. I'm not a cake man, even slightly, but this looks pretty fucking good. I love cake, man. I just have a, I I in my late twenties or maybe thirties, I'm not even sure, but I developed a food sensitivity to eggs, and it is it's the it's the worst. As a guy that would eat eggs all the fuck, like because there's eggs in like everything, dude. Eggs are great. And They're now great. like when I eat it, I get the worst fucking. Because I don't have like an allergic reaction. It's just like a sensitivity to where I get the worst heartburn. And it took me a while to figure it out. It, it started to narrow down what I would eat because uh, I used to I used to be like a, a, a breakfast burrito guy, um, chorizo and eggs, um, coat the the chicken I would make, you know, with the you know like the yeah, fucking yeah. eggs and everything. The fried rice had egg, like, and then I started to figure it out. I was like, it's fucking eggs, dude. I, it, it broke my heart because sometimes that's, that's really heartbreaking. Yeah, if, yeah, I could, if I if I is there nothing you can take for that? Is there like not? No, like a, a, I looked it up because I thought the same thing. Like, oh, you know, the, you just if you lack the enzymes to break down lactose, you can get those right, pills. You can take lactate, Great. yeah. No, I found nothing for that. They're just like get fake eggs. There's this vegan egg shit, and it smell. It when you open it, it smells so fucking gross that I'm like, yo, couldn't science just make this smell like eggs? You fucking pieces of shit. So like, it has the <laughs> consistency of eggs when you cook it, but it it ain't egg. And so uh, JoJo bought it a couple of times. I'm like, oh, that's cool, but nah. Um, the only thing I haven't tried yet is maybe it's specifically just the yolk. So I just need to. Uh, I haven't got around to it because I'm. I'm just. I'm already mad that like it, it, most likely I'm probably gonna be sensitive to the uh, to the white too, and I just don't want to get more disappointed. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. But yeah, yeah. That's, that's 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 rough. That would be rough on me. Yeah, because I'm like a big. Uh, I'm like a big egg sandwich guy. Yeah, like I'm like I I need my bacon egg and cheese, man. Yeah, like, eggs are great, man. I, like yeah, like I fucking last time I hung out with my mom, we had uh the, the croissants, and I had to take the fucking egg out. <laughs> like it's like uh, it was bacon, <laughs> bacon, egg, croissant. I'm like I just had a croissant with some fucking bacon in it. <laughs> it was, it was stupid. <laughs> that's, that's so rough. What's your what's your guys' stance on BLTs? Amazing. Really? Amazing. Yeah. I I I don't. Personally, with, I don't a nice consider... fried chicken patty on it, like a nice chicken patty on it. Well, no, no, see, no, 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 no. Well, see, well, that's, that's, that's a sandwich. That's exactly then. my point. I, I don't consider Especially. bacon enough meat to be like a, a, a protein for the sandwich or whatever. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's entirely. It's 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 an additive. Yeah, it's like 100%. it's almost like a it, bacon is like a seasoning meat almost. Where 100%. it's like to the point where it's like where it's like this is you put on you put this on other meat or like other things. To kind of give them definition, but you can't just have like. 
I you totally can, you agree. Cannot have bacon. I don't like how a lot of breakfast places they compare bacon to sausage. Where it's like, do you want bacon or do you want sausage? And my thing is, I'm like, fuck. Well, I want both, bitch. Yeah, right. I'm like, what the- isn't that insane? <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad you said that because I've, I felt the exact same way for so long. I was like, why the fuck are you giving me the option between these two things that aren't even equivalent to each other? Yes. Just <laughs> let me have both of them. Yes. Dude. And I, that's what I usually do. I, I usually go like, you know, let me get bacon. Can I get a side of sausage? Yes. But then it's like it's fucking crazy that I have to make that distinction. Yeah, dude, that's that's the only that's the right call. That is it right there. And it's, it's they they've been cheating us for so long that I'm like, t- how dare you say these two little slithers of bacon it's, are yeah, the equivalent, it's, yeah, it's, bitch? It's two. It's always two fucking paltry <laughs> slithers of bacon too. It's like you can't even give me four. Yeah, at least like, exactly at least, that. At least like make it worth my fucking while. Four pieces. If you're gonna I, give me just that. this fucking thing, it's it's fucking. Lit. I, I don't know. Imagine man. if somebody like, gave you a hot. I like imagine, bacon, I like bacon imagine a lot. if somebody gave you. I, I, I like Kingston, imagine if somebody gave you honestly. Kingston, 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 Kingston. Imagine if somebody gave you a hot dog bun and put bacon in it, and that was it. <laughs> two sl- two slivers of bacon. <laughs> like, what's going on, dude? That's what, yeah, dude. What's going on, for real? Dude? That's insane. Isn't that fucking insane? They're like, what the fuck is this? Where's the Where's the actual? Where's the entree? Where where's is it? Where's the meat? <laughs> yeah. Where's yeah. the fucking meat, oh, bro? Damn, that's. Yeah. I feel like we can change the world with this one. We we gotta make this go <laughs> make this go viral. Yeah. Let these we have to let these motherfuckers ban. know. We have to ban the BLT. We have to kill the BLT's delicious uh, though. I love it. It's a little it's a little bit of a little bit of a little fucking, bit. It's a, it's, it's a, a little bit of a little bit. It's, it's a, like I've never had a BLT and and felt like I ate something. Like it's so bizarre <laughs> like how I, I like I feel more hungry after the BLT than I do fucking before it. And it makes no sense. I like it's a BLT confusing nice sandwich. I'm it's barely BLT. a sandwich, man. When was the last time you had a BLT? Uh a few months ago. I don't think ago. I've ever had one. The last time I had a BLT was, I I remember it was 2012. I remember I made myself a BLT because it was the only ingredients that we had. Mm. And I remember because it was like, it was like a very specific semester in college that I really, really remember. And I had it and I couldn't fucking believe how nothing it felt like it felt, with a nice grilled I, I chicken might, patty I, it though really with a felt, nice grilled chicken patty but though? that's Kingston. That's a that's chicken a, sandwich. That's a chicken that's, sandwich. Well, that's a chicken BLT. That's a chicken club. The chicken that's BLT. That's a chicken club. No, dude. it's not a club. It's no, a BLT. No, it's not a chicken. Chicken BLT. Kill yourself. Yeah, it's not no, a chicken it's BLT. BLT. It's literally dude, a chicken BLT. Me. It's not a club. Oh, my God. A chi- There's no such thing as a chicken BLT because They're a chicken really... BLT is just a chicken sandwich. No, it's a chicken. They're, they exist. What do you mean? How oh are you my... telling me this? Oh, my God. Look it's up not... chicken BLT BLTs. A... They oh exist. God. They literally exist. That's, How are yeah. you telling? I've ordered them. They're like my favorite sandwich to order. Kingston, 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 Kingston. If 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 I got chicken in my in my bacon, egg, and cheese, would you call it a chicken bacon, egg, and cheese? A bacon, egg, and cheese with it, chicken, yes. It's literally the same as them saying... No, it's a you fucking got a che- chicken sandwich. You got a cheese pizza with pepperoni. Yeah, it's fucking... <laughs> or like, or, 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 or like BLT. A, because the BLT part still cheese, has credence. You got a cheese pizza with pepperoni, dude. It's a ch- it is a chicken sandwich. You're right. But it was like, what kind of chicken no, sandwich do be- you want? Like, oh, I'm going to get a chicken BLT. Like, yeah. That's how you define it. That's more definition to it. No. It is. It's more. It's it's more descriptive, but it's not actually what it's like. It's it's a chicken sandwich. Is it? That's a chicken sandwich. Yeah, like what you're you can, describing. So I just looked up. So uh, chicken BLT sandwich. Up, uh, chicken BLT sandwich. Grilled chicken BLT sandwich. Chicken BLT sandwich. Chicken BLT sandwich. That's not a. F- oh, shut People the fuck call up. them yeah, the that's internet. What they, that's oh, the what internet. I saw it on the internet. I saw it on the internet. So it's true. Well, you guys are a bunch of fucking hoots. You guys are fucking monks now. The, That's I it. I saw the Mexican aliens on the, on look, the fucking look, look, dudes. Look, 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 look. Right Did you now, know they have fallopian tubes? Right now, right now, I'm not admitting that. <laughs> it, it, chicken it, it, it is a chicken sandwich. You are right. But you guys are out here trying to tell me that it is not called the chicken BLT, which is actually fucking ridiculous. It's a chicken fucking sandwich. It's a chicken it's, sandwich. Dude. It's a chicken BLT. Usually, that is what the sandwich so is why called. doesn't it's okay? Look at look at hey hey. Oh, with McDonald's, when you get a chicken BLT, why is it not called a chicken BLT? And it's just they don't called have chicken a, a BLTs deluxe. at McDonald's. What are you talking about? Yes, they do. It's a deluxe. When you get it's the deluxe, McChicken. they add fucking extra shit on it. You can get lettuce and tomato on your chicken sandwich, but it's just a deluxe, just like a Chick Fil A. But they it's don't call not it a chicken bake, BLT. It's, it's a fucking it deluxe. It doesn't come with bacon on it, Derek. The BLT you, part isn't. If you dude, get a yes, deluxe, I've ordered it before. Dickhead. You may have ordered it. Like, can I get bacon also? And it's like, oh yeah, cool. No, it's chicken, it's, it's an option. With bacon. It's an option Derek, for the deluxe. Derek, Look at their Derek. menu. They have the basic chicken sandwich with pickles on it, and then they have the one where they put fucking everything on it. They don't put bacon on it naturally. You have to ask for bacon as well. No, they 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 don't. Not, they I do mean, not. I mean what? 
Let's they don't bake naturally. Right when it has bacon, it it's called a McChicken it's bacon, now. McChicken, yes, the McChicken, yes, I know. Sandwiches. I imagine the McChicken doesn't come with bacon or lettuce or tomato here's, on it either. Here's the thing. They're here's my the favorite thing. sandwiches here's, there. Here's because I here's like chicken ulti- a lot. No, oh, but Kingston, well, McCrispy. Kingston. Sorry, McCrispy. Kingston, Kingston. If I have a l- l- let me just the simple, simplest argument that I could think to muster, right? Let me say. Let's say I get a bacon che- a bacon burger, right? Yeah. Just a bacon hamburger, right? Yes. What is it? What does a hamburger have? It has, a hamburger it has, has lettuce, lettuce, tomato, tomato, mayo, and onions. Well, okay. Well, hold on. Mayo and but onions. On. That's what a burger has. I mean, it, it could yes, but like you could order a burger. Right, the core ingredients of a burger, by the way, are, are lettuce and tomato and 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 meat and and maybe cheese. Oh, like that, oh, like the onion God. doesn't and need to be there. Onion is a nice thing. But they ask if you want onions or not, because onion comes on it. No, I like onions. But I like onions. I'm just saying, like the generalized. If you drew a burger, if you drew a burger, like if you drew one or like saw one in a cartoon, it's always ba- it's it's always lettuce, tomato, and and meat. Like that's always what it is. I would say onions so, always there too, but continue. I've never. I no no. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yes, but continue. All right, whatever, whatever. You're free to be wrong. Is is a burger? Yeah, look up then, a Krabby Patty, a, dude. It, 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 if a Krabby burger, have then onions on it. A hundred percent have onions God. on it. A hundred percent. Thanks for helping me, Derek. You dummy. You dumb dumb. I didn't. If you just if you just look it up right now, if you look at a picture of a fucking Krabby Patty, it. they don't have onions on they it. I'm sure they probably do. do in, Chris. in lore, they do. Chris, they literally <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, in lore, they literally exactly do. Lore. They don't. Oh my God. Show, they don't look show at the fucking burger. You don't even see. I don't even think you see the tomato on it naturally. If you look at oh the my god, patty. even like the famous, the famous picture of the real Krabby Patty from that from that episode where it goes dun 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 is literally bread, tomato, lettuce, cheese, and meat. That's it. You fucking. It literally right, has onion. Let's calm on it. Down. it literally has onion on it, Chris. Oh my god! I'm sure in lore there's been so like, very. It's a cartoon, liter- if right? You, if you look at the vault of Krabby Patties, <laughs> look at the fucking Chris, Chris. Are you fucking Chris? This is, I'm, I'm gonna be real now. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. I'm using looking my, at it. I'm looking words. at it. Are you fucking retarded, my nigga? I am there's looking at it, my guy. There's literally an onion on top of the fucking tomato. You actual chimp. You actual. Oh my god, you, you actual knuckle dragon. It's literally right there. It's on the You're top of it, Chris. It's literally the no, it's patty. Not. It's literally Chris. It's right there, Chris. I'm looking at it. Chris. No, it's not, Christopher. I'm no, you're looking blind. at it, Christopher. I'm staring at it. You are blind, you Chris. Would you like me to stream my man. image? It's with the real Krabby Patty. When it's like duckly, duck, 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 yeah, duck, it's right there. It's literally an onion so, on top of the so tomato. I'll, sh- I'll show you a regular picture of a stack Krabby Patty. And this then, article that you linked, so it has it's no right, fucking. It's, I'm staring at it, Chris. It's right. The, the it's Metro. Right UK, there. It opens up just fine for me. Oh yeah, yeah. No, like this Metro UK is actually a perfect example. There's like, no fucking like, onion on it. There's no onion on it. And then it, go to the vault with the Krabby Patty where there's a vault guys, of them. Go to guys, the one the where image, the look, image by the, with look, the real listen, Krabby listen, Patty. Listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna take a fucking right screen. There. I have a screenshot. Listen, no, listen, I want to. Sh- I, I need to. Sh- I need to show. I'm gonna let you. Uh, I just gotta. I need to show Sweeney that he is incorrect about this because I'm gonna take a screenshot of just an average Krabby Patty and it's. You only either see tomato yeah. in it, or you know yeah, tomato. Literally. It's just lettuce and cheese. Guys, yeah, like that yes, is the, that is yes, the, the animated Krabby Patty. This the is one that beside they have in a cartoon. Point. You just see lettuce. The image this of the real Krabby the Patty. The episode oh, that Chris that just told one. me that I was wrong about literally has an onion. You audience. are incorrect. I'm but let's staring for, at because the that's onion not at the, the point. Top. That's not the fucking point. The point is, if I get a burger, <laughs> if I get a burger with lettuce, tomato, bacon, and meat, that is not a fucking BLT. No, it's not. It's a burger. Why? You're right. Why? Why? Why is right. it? Why is it not a you BLT? Right. Because why is it not a BLT? It is a burger. It's a burger. You're because right. Because it's like, a burger. Okay. Why is it because not a, a BLT. A beef BLT. Because no. Yeah. Why is it not a BLT? Because here's foremost, the thing. First and because foremost, a BLT. What necessitates a BLT is that it's bacon, lettuce, tomato, and that's. It. That's like the people who say, like, oh, let's be, let me go a grilled cheese sandwich with with fucking all this extra shit. Like, no, no, that's not what a grilled cheese fucking sandwich is. That a Chris, grilled cheese sandwich is literally Chris, yes, bread and cheese Chris, grilled. Have, that's what a grilled and, cheese first sandwich. First and foremost, is. a burger at that moment usually comes Preach. on a burger patty, <sighs> and then even by itself, it would just be a a it, would, it was it's a burger. I agree with you on that. I agree that a chicken BLT is also a chicken sandwich. But when you're going to order, you don't order a chicken sandwich with lettuce, tomato, and bacon. No, you're like, oh, can I just get a chicken BLT? You do. No, you don't. 
You just said can I get a chicken crazy. BLT? No I've never, I've never, heard anyone, I've never heard anybody say that. I've never heard anybody say that. I've never heard anybody say that in my life. It you're doesn't even say that at mind. people's restaurants. You don't even say that at the restaurants. Like, I'm just look, man. Whatever. Nah, nah you can't let this motherfucker can't, just get away with this shit. No, I don't feel like the look, audience will look, do it. Guys, I'm not even disagreeing with you, but the fact that you guys are like, no, you don't order like that. Yes, I've never seen anybody be like, yo, can I get a chicken sandwich? Like, yeah, what you want on it? Can I get? You chicken sandwich just come with like literally everybody says. They literally have, like, Chipotle, everybody orders they have, like, a chicken Chipotle sandwich that way. Mayo with like lettuce on it, maybe pickle or something like that. But you're like, hey. There's always a chicken BLT sandwich. That's a thing. That is a thing. I've never seen that in my life. That is I've never crazy. Seen that is crazy. Like, I've looked up Give me an several... example of a restaurant where you've walked in. You're like, give me the chicken BLT. You're probably not going to know this. Um, uh, let me see if I can remember the exact name. Do you is remember, this some fucking Chris, mom and Chris, pop bullshit? Chris, do you remember mm. the, the sandwich place next to Dragon's Den in PK? Sugar and Spice um, Cafe. Sandwich place? It might not be there anymore. Sugar and Spice Cafe. Literally, I would always get, after I'd play Yu-Gi-Oh! This is 14, 15-year-old Kingston. I'd play Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I would get a chicken BLT sandwich afterwards. Every time. Every single and that's what, time. And that's what you would, that's what you would tell. Like, you would on say their, that on their menu. You would say BLT. that and it was on their menu. Yes. So you well, have, it was on the menu? So you have yes. The chicken one, BLT was on the menu. Yes. It so was we have this one example BLT. that we can't verify. They would have, I don't believe they would that have, they would have the. Uh, I believe, like here, the, here's what I believe. Here's here's what I believe. Here's what I believe. I believe that you knew these people well enough that they were willing to make whatever fucking god oh my forsaken god, fucking sandwich bro. you chicken wanted, BLT and they understood thing. what and they under and they understood what you meant by chicken BLT. I am so... because it's obvious what it means, but it's crazy. That that's just such a crazy fucking. It's not a BLT anymore. It's just a fucking chicken sandwich. It's a BLT with chicken. It it's, is. There's no such thing as a BLT with anything else because a, the second anything why, else is added to a BLT, it, it becomes something well, else. Yeah, it's why just it, like we said. It, like in the beginning, it, it was just as stupid as saying. Place of both. Why like, would you ever say? Both? Would you ever say, "Hey, can I get a cheese pizza with sausage and pepperoni?" And like they no. look at you like, "What do you? What are you saying? You'd why like, would you say that? Why not just get a fucking sausage and pepperoni but it pizza?" It is a cheese pizza as well. Yes, you wouldn't call it that normally. I agree with you. That's the whole. That is literally the whole point. That like, yo, can I get a pepperoni pizza with sausage? Can I get a like? There's no reason sausage? to call it that because that's not what it is. It's, it's like why even? But, but it just the, sounds like some stubborn shit that some people are like. No, nah, I, I just want to call it this because and, and just to so. not be I think, to I think feel you guys like dumb. Like, like, nah, it's loose, this. Man. I think you guys are being it's stubborn this. for no reason. It literally no, no, is you're that. the one being stubborn. No, it's not, it's not even a hard thing to say because it's <laughs> easier. First of all, it's easier to say chicken BLT. Then can I get a chicken sandwich with bacon, lettuce, and tomato? Chicken well, BLT. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, let me just say this. Chicken BLT, heinous, heinous combination of. I don't know why you would do that. How are you? There's no reason to do that. You you're get a chicken. You get a mad. chicken sandwich. You need you like mayo. That, yeah. it, it is weird to do that. That's you're like a weird mad. combination. You guys of are insane. <laughs> you guys are insane. You guys are insane. <laughs> tomato doesn't. Just, in my opinion, tomato doesn't. I'm a little it, bit it, of an anomaly. I'm a little bit of an anomaly. I actually don't like raw tomatoes. Um, I, I I think raw tomatoes ruins the whatever. It's cold and it makes it. It, it just. I don't like cold ass things ruining the hotness of my stuff. And I think uh, you guys are. I just mad. think things that on average uh, cooked or like say I think like cooked tomatoes like when you make it in a sauce it turns awesome. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you turn it into sauce. Uh, grilled onions I think are far superior than raw onions in my opinion. These are just like my opinion things. Depends on what uh, you're cooking uh, it like, with. Like I, to I'd me, I just think raw onions, onions on fucking anything is just better than. than I mean, sorry, I, rather, I love onions I love onions. onions. It's like I love onions. I mean, onions, I like onions are fucking amazing. But I, I love just onions. Feel like the flavor I love is onions. way better. I don't it's like, like cooking them. I don't like eating. When you like, think I don't about like, like uh, think about um uh, right. uh, like when people like I say I, I don't necessarily understand um raw like people who have extremely rare steak when. The thing that they really like about it is the seared part, which is well, you know, the the, the seared part yeah, is yeah. well done. Everything else under it is like, you know, raw or whatever. I, I don't understand those people because they know the good part of it is when the fire hits the fucking. How do, how do you get? How do, how do you guys get your steaks? So I, I get, get it medium mine, well or well done personally, but I, I get I like my. my food it cooked. depends on the place, but I like uh since most chefs don't want to actually cook a steak well done. If you say well done, it'll end up being like medium rare, which is fine for me. So that's usually how, like, say, there's a steakhouse up uh, in North Las Vegas that's fucking amazing. 
So I'll say like a well done because if you if you if you say medium well, it'll usually just be medium. They usually they usually kind of go a little bit. So yeah, I say yeah. well done, and then they'll do it. So there's some pink in it, and I'm okay with a little bit of pink. But the thing is, like I'm not a baby; I can chew. So because usually people are like, "Oh, it's so tough." I'm like, and then you talk to those same people, and if you give them beef jerky, it needs to be as tough as rocks. Like they're they're crazy to me. They're like, "That's not real beef jerky. That's slimy, soft shit." But then if you give you give them a slimy, soft fucking piece of steak, they love it. And I'm like, what the fuck no, is wrong with I you mean, people? I kind of know. Because I, I, know, I know what you – I I understand we that We call them niggas steak Nazis, man. I don't agree with that specific thing because I'm not voice. really a jerky pr- – I don't, I don't <laughs> like jerky really at all. It's just like authentic way to eat things is what I'm saying. These people say right. the authentic way to eat a steak is you sear it and then it's bleeding in the middle, so blah, blah, blah. But the authentic way to eat jerky yeah. is it's fucking so dried out that it could break your teeth. No, well, I, I I like I, cowboy jerky, man. I like some yeah. real jerky. I'm just saying, my teeth can handle it, so I can handle a well done steak too. <laughs> you right. feel it's, me? It's not. Yeah, it's it's not exactly jerky, but like, uh, there's um, my family will do this whenever we whenever they make like um, a pork uh, like a, like a like a like a giant slab of of, of pork or whatever. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Where they'll cook it. It's, I think it's called like. I don't know if it's exactly called chicharron because I've heard, I've seen I've I've googled chicharron and that's not what it is. Chicha- no, so there's, so there's two different the, kinds. There's chicharron. Do you know what I mean? What fried. I'm talking? So, I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, describe what you're talking about. So, so what I'm so, so let me just finish the description. So what it is is like you cook you roast the pork, but then the outside is kind of like glazed and and really like burnt to shit. Yeah. And then that stuff you kind of like peel off, and it's basically like fucking glass, but it's so fucking delicious. I can't even fucking. So it's, so it's I, like a separate snack so that you have I've after had, the fucking. I've had chicharrones in done. several ways. I've had chicharrones where you go to Mexican places. They're pretty much the stars. There's today as like people the they stars, put lime what? in. They put lime in like the, like the star wheels. I've oh, had I know those. You I've had a classic chicharron where it's pretty much you braise the steak at first, and then you fry you fr- you, fr- you braise the um the ham, then you fry and yeah, you yeah. chop it up, and then that's chicharron. That way, I my family makes it. Then there's chicharron where it's just like pork rinds, pretty much. It's yeah, no, like that's not is... that's not what I'm talking. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The way I this, know this stuff about is like it, it's, it's, like... it's literally it's literally like a sh- it's literally like a shell around the pork that yeah. you crack mm-hmm. and you break into pieces and then you just have like this this plate of basically pork glass that sounds so horrible. That's the one. But that's it is the one. So I've had that, I've had that before. Fucking that's that shit is the most delicious shit I've I've had in my life. It's so I mean, pork skin unreasonably is, is, good. Is uh is it doesn't make sense. Like pork in general is a crazy ass fucking animal. It's a fucking <laughs> sad piece of shit animal. Like I I really that that poor fucking animal is so delicious and it doesn't even it knows how delicious it is too because of how horrible it sounds. Like when you were like trying to kill it, like it it, 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 bro, it, killing, it tries its best to bro, like killing a not be a killed pig, because it knows will haunt your memories, bro. That it's is awful. a sound I'll never forget in my life, bro. It's, it's awful. Hearing dude. pigs die is ever. mortifying. They sound like kids. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> hearing pigs die. I saw, I saw a pig. Die, I saw a pig. Dude, I saw a pig. I saw a pig get dragged underwater by like a crocodile once. Uh, not in person, obviously, in a video. And it screamed, yeah. but, "Help me!" Uh, yeah, it, it was. It literally screamed. It was like, "Whoa, whoa!" <laughs> Like it was crazy. It was like fucking screaming, and it said "whoa." Yeah, and Did I was it like, start what? spinning too, like "whoa." <laughs> Did I crash Bandicoot twirl to try to get away? <laughs> that usually be no man. It's fucking world, man. It's it's Looney Tunes over yeah. there, man. It's oof. I can't. I can't. Those I hope that like there's never any dystopic shit happening. We have to start killing our own food because I don't want to, man. I can. I, do. I, 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 like, I, I, I can, but I don't want to. I, I really could. It would, it would, would stone me though. Not it would to. make me stronger. I could do it with chickens for sure. Like chickens have no chance in hell. Like I, I like, have seen, I've seen my grandma. I love chickens. Chickens are awesome. They're so fun. But like they're like they there's nothing going on. Like I feel no guilt at all. Like <laughs> like they are they are almost fucking. It, it would be like they're like, almost like breaking an iPhone. Yeah. Almost like, like it would be like breaking. Me, I was like, like I don't care about yeah. you. I'll eat you. I'll, I'll eat you. Turkeys. Like I'm not gonna crush you for no reason, but like I'll kill you to eat you. <laughs> My grandma picked up ass. a chicken. I don't know why, she went, picked it up nicely. It's head did the whole swivel <laughs> thing. Then she snapped its neck. Gra- quick yeah. twist, pop yank. turkeys. And I was turkeys, like, turkeys, Grandma, turkeys, what the fuck? Like, turkeys kill themselves, turkey, bro. Dude. Turkeys are, are turkey. remarkably. Turkeys are remarkably unempathetic animals. Like I, 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 I like I would beat the shit out of a turkey and leave it there. <laughs> 
like like because they're so fucking like i remember once like in the rain my i remember once in, in when we, i was living in upstate new york with my parents like when i was young my my mom like screamed and and i was like what the fuck's going on and i went downstairs and there was this like crowd of turkeys in the rain sopping wet which by the way they look fucking disgusting when they're wet they look so fucking gross when they're soaked in the rain. Yeah. But, like, they were just, like, next to, like, my screen door. <clears throat> and they looked so fucking disturbing. But I remember looking at it, I was like, I would I would have no issue beating the shit out of these things and, and just leaving them there. Like, I wouldn't even eat them. <laughs> you wouldn't even I, eat it? All that meat? I wouldn't even eat them. leave? <laughs> yeah. Because turkey's, turkey, turkey's not good enough for the... Like, I just... I don't yeah. like turkey enough to go through the process of, like, killing a turkey and then... The the the, pr- the harvesting process to turn that turkey into something usable like I just it's not worth you. it to me. Smoked turkey is the only way I eat turkey now. Once I had smoked turkey, I was like, oh shit, there's no eating regular turkey anymore. <laughs> it's insane. You get it from like a deli, you put it in a sandwich. It's so, like it's, it's the just, worst deli meat also too. No, like, honey turkey, honey, honey turkey? glazed turkey is delicious, bro. It's okay, honey glazed, dude. But honey glazed turkey is fine, but you can get honey glazed anything else and it's better. I do some honey glazed ham. I don't like honey ham at all. Honey glazed ham is way better. I don't like honey ham at all. That's me personally, though. I've been eating honey turkey. That's wild. I've been eating (laughs) eating honey turkey. I don't really eat pork that much. I didn't grow up eating pork a lot. All all fairness, I didn't really do it too much. But oh, dude, I love pork. Pork is it's too good. It scares me. It's good. It's good. Like I like bacon. I like bacon a lot. I like pork chops. Pork chops is good as well. So, I hated how fucking accurate that sounded. <laughs> <laughs> right, <let's... laughs> Dude, the sound right, they made. Fucking... I heard my uncle shoot one and it was still weeing low. Oh, that's the worst. Until when you died. don't just kill them like, and they're yo. making that sound. I'm like, oh. Ah, it was like, what, what the fuck? What the it's fuck? A cra- it's a crazy what sound, man. What the fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> the idea of shoot. What's how the name many, of how many pig? people do you Imagine think would, hearing people uh, beat the shit out of Porky in the pig with like, rod, like rods and like sticks, and you hear him like, <laughs> <laughs> he's They're trying to get like words out when he can't. <laughs> I'm like, nope, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm good. <laughs> I would do it. I would do it. I would do it just to Such hear the sounds fucking... he makes. And how I'll many never people do you think would stop fishing if they like scream? <laughs> How many vegans do you think stopped listening to the podcast today? Shut <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fuck up, dog. I don't care. Hey, dude, vegans, hopefully. I'm with you. I'm, no. I just want to say this, and then no. we're moving on. Vegans, I'm with you. As soon as they have fucking uh, the, the, the meat that is it is interchangeable, that the lab-grown meat that you can't even tell, I am 100% on board. I will stop eating. Same. I will yeah. stop yeah. Same. contributing yeah, to yeah. the yeah. vegans. Vegans thing. are objectively correct. You are, you are objectively correct. <laughs> I have. I cannot. I cannot logically argue against you. All I can. All I can say to you is, I fucking love chicken, yes. and that's my only. That is I my. I sound like a psycho. It is like it is borderline religious. Actually, if you think about it, if you think if you if you think about like arguing with like an atheist or something. And like, why do you believe in this stuff? And it's like, well, I just love Christ. <laughs> like, I honestly, I like honestly for real. Like, I, it feels that way, and I'm so, I'm totally cognizant of it. I get it. Me but too. I, you you'll wrestle this fucking fried chicken out of my hands when I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> if vegans or when you to find take something chicken, better, if vegans started trying to take, take chicken away from me, I would eat vegans. I would go to start eating vegans. You just, you just start would, frying them. Yeah, deep fried, deep fried <laughs> vegans. I would. The vegan would take out of my hand. I would look at them and I'd bite their. I'd bite a huge bite out of their arm, and I'd be like, "Leave now, or I'll eat <laughs> you more." See of Walking you. Dead. Did you see where? Did you see Rick bite? Uh, one of those dudes he in the, the throat. neck. Did you see he that? Yeah, one of the whispers. He, he, yeah. he, bit his fucking, he was like, he was so uh, he was, he was so out of options that he just lunged at this dude and bit his throat. It was, you got to do what you got to do, bro. It was the funniest bro. fucking thing I've ever seen in the show. It was, it was so like brutal, <laughs> animalistic. Like he just snaps and it's the funniest. I'm like, I love. You know what's I just crazy? love the idea of you know someone being that savage. You know what's crazy <laughs> in The Walking Dead? If when you look at the timeline. Bro, the, it hasn't even been that long since the world has ended, bro. It's been <laughs> like maybe 10, 10, 11 years since the world's gone to shit, bro. Look how bad Rick looks, bro. Well, that's Have actually that's actually a, a long. Look, look at how terrible. That's a pretty Rick long. Looks. That's I mean, that's a pretty long time, Chris. Rick, ten hair years was is a br- long time. Chris, Rick's hair was brown, 
<laughs> and he was shaved when the series starts. When you see where he is at the end of the series, that man looks like he's lived 20 years. In one yeah, of I mean, days. It's, it's 10 years Granted, in a, in a post his life is horrible. That is the most stressful existence to have, probably. But he looks <laughs> yeah. bad, bro. Yeah, he looks anyway, kind of like... Uh, we should... Uh, he looks kind of uh, like... He looks a little bit like Saruman. Just a little bit like... Uh, <laughs> Like, <laughs> that is that is fucking crazy. He's gone through a lot, bro. <laughs> Nigga looks like Catherick Thorne by the end of that fucking series, bro. It's terrible. <laughs> All right, what do we got? We got some fucking uh, questions for these people, these fine, yeah, strapping yeah. young uh, audiences. All right, let's see. They're not strapping. Pussy penis, pussy penis. TM wrote in. Pussy penis. Says, All right, <laughs> trademark too. I really can't believe I've never that it's. It is weird to me that I have never thought of the concept of pussy penis. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's, that it's seems almost, so obvious. It's almost too but, Go ahead. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's like the idea of, like, it's me, pussy penis. No. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's, like, not a bad idea. I wonder what it's going to, is it going to be a toy line? I know I, I know he has a trademark. What, what is it going to be, though? Like, uh, oh, man. What are you trademarking one, for? One can only hope maybe a clothing line. Yeah. <laughs> pussy penis clothes. That's disgusting. Yeah. All right, I'll rock. I'll, I'll rock it. Yeah, pussy penis on, on, down on the sleeve. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> a penis erupting out of a vagina. Yeah. All right, see, like Let's water, see, uh, like water droplets. So, coming p- out too. pussy penis trademark wrote and he says, uh, uh, "Hello, black man, black man, and Tom Sweeney. If you had to pick any of these superpowers, which which would it be? Super speed, but only when you Naruto run. Oh man, mm. that's fine." So these are the three options that we have. Super speed, but only when you Naruto run. Become invisible only when you close your eyes. Uh, or you can see through walls, but it's in 140, 144p. So Naruto runs super speed easily. Huh. There's yeah, no I don't detri- know. There's no detriment to that. Well, I guess like nobody can see you. if you're. Are you running fast enough to where people can't see you do that stupid Yeah, it's, run? it's super speed. It's super speed. Okay. So, yeah, so no one that. would see you. Yeah, because that's for a my human, main thing. Super speed is like forty-five miles per hour. Like that's super speed for that is a like human. Double. That's like double, like a human's uh, <laughs> the, the top speed of a like, human. Like a person running at seventy. First of all, if you run like that, you probably can't turn as well. <laughs> but I would just stop. <laughs> I would just put my arms down. <laughs> if you're going like forty-five miles an hour, people could see you do that. <laughs> no, but like if, if, if you're running like if you're if you're running like flash level speed, you know, like yeah, fucking, if we're doing flash level, I will take turn that well like that. <laughs> I just can't. I can't bear to see somebody see me run like that. It's too embarrassing. That's, yeah, that's you. Until you I until think I'd you, rather uh, shit myself in public than like catch somebody. That's you until you run them, them over a volcano and let go of them. <laughs> then they talk shit and you run them, let go. <laughs> I don't know yeah. until you fucking punch their balls real fast. <laughs> how bad? How bad is 144p? It's kind of bad. Actually. You think? Is, you it, think? I think you think it's better than what it is because 480 is bad, bro. 140. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm looking I'm watching a Destiny trailer at 144p. Uh, huh. I don't know. That's still a lot of information. I, whatever, dude. Yeah. I think that, that's that's, that's that's like really that that could potentially be useful. But what do you so then what do you uh are you trying to like what would you use it for to like rob stuff or No, I mean just to just, uh, yeah, I guess I don't I don't know. Um I guess uh, I, I I wouldn't have any real reason to use it. I just watched yeah. the Donkey video on 144p and that shit looks ridiculous. I would It's rather, pretty bad, yeah. Your eyes would start yeah. bleeding. Your brain the, the way your brain will process information would get fucked yeah. up. Yeah. That was a good one. That was fun. Uh I don't know. I think uh, I guess I'm probably gonna go with the run because it, it, you people won't see you. Yeah. If you are going that fast, if so that's kind of it eyes, is. You're invisible. You're gonna die. <laughs> that's, you're just gonna die. <laughs> that, is, yeah. that is to be fair. That is pretty useful. No, it's not. It is fucking. Do you see through if, your eyelids. if you're in a bind, man, Do you can see through oh, your eyelids. True. You're invisible. That oh, that's kind yeah. of well. That's well. Yeah, that's that is holy mm, shit. That is true. I hadn't thought of that. So that actually might be super fucking useful. That might be useful. Um, uh, if you close your eyes, yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with invisible. I, I, I feel like I feel like I would uh, I would benefit more from invisibility than I would from super speed. Um, if I, I was I, invisible, I, still, I would I would make I wanna, people hurt themselves. <laughs> I would wish people people up like your sins are finally. The here thing is, like, I would sneak I would sneak into places. Off. I would sneak into places, not even because I needed anything from them, but just just as a game, just to see if I could. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Like, because I love stealth. I love stealth games. I love stealth in video games. And the fact that that's like an underserved genre right now means 
if I if I have this power, I can just make my own stealth game everywhere. Sneak into buildings I don't belong in. Sleep, sneak into fucking facilities I don't belong. Dude, I could I could probably save the world with this shit. Maybe. Sneak into fucking sneak into fucking uh, what is it that Australian guy's house? Harm and steal, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Steal, Harman, steal all this bad. fucking money. Harm and yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be Just great. like airdrop, airdrop all of his money to me. Yeah, yeah. Find out where all of his stupid ass like offshore accounts are and shit. That'd be oh, great. dude, yeah. the havoc I could wreak. <laughs> Yeah, no, Dude, absolutely. His ability is so scary because you would not be able to fix. Like, imagine that. Like, like if someone like you're invisible, right? If someone's attacking, you're fighting, and they throw, they spill something on you, right? And this is what you do. This automatically makes things scary for them. You just write a smiley face on your invisible face and two eyes, and then this makes them way more scared than they were before because now you're fighting an entity that's happy. And this is like, yo, I would, I would make people lose their minds. I would make people hurt themselves. I would yeah. go to people that are not doing well mentally and I'd whisper shit to them to fuck them up even more. <laughs> I would just go, I would go ramp it, bro. Yeah, that'd be uh, pretty good. I don't deserve I would power. I would try to manipulate the president. Like, uh, you know, you, you, you come up to, like, Biden <laughs> and, like, you just make him, like, w- shake like, him up. Yeah, yeah, whisper shit. Like, just keep him, like, saying, I don't know, crazy shit. Like, uh, what's his uh, wife's name? Jill. Yeah. Like, how, just be like, yeah, I fucking hate you. I fucking I, my, my name's Jill and I fucking hate you or some shit. My name's like, Jill. <laughs> my name's Jill and I fucking hate you. He's like, oh, not again. It's, oh. Like, it's happening again. And he like freaks out like during a press conference and shit. And he starts like she, you pushing see that video shit over. Of, you see that video of him having to get his? He was at like an international conference and he said like, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed. I just I just saw dude, that this morning. I just heard. Dude, it I'm sorry. Like we'll talk about this on the on the next episode, I guess. But yeah. like that, pff, I don't know, man. There's there's some crazy stuff going on. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's move on. Uh, uh, the pronouns in Starfield stuff. I'm not going to get into that. Thank you, Watch thank you, the... The, the, thank you, the QR master. I, I you know, I, we would answer the question, but it's you know, it's it's a dead topic, and we kind of we we kind of killed it in the last episode that we did about it. So boom, no, if you're you you're close right. Your eyes. Please write it again. Uh, now I am become gay, the sucker of cocks. Nice. Not bad. Cock and He writes in, he says, dumb st- hey, dumb, stinky doo-doo heads. All right, let's relax. <laughs> Would you rather sit at a table, at a lunch table with guys who really get upset about pronouns on an RPG or just sit with Chris Chan. It's, oh, fuck. I don't know. I would sit with Chris Chan. I, I, would, I would have so much. I would sit with Chris there, Chan, but I wouldn't say anything. I'd be quiet and start writing things down. Th- there's Damn. so much that I want to know, you know? Like, and I feel like I could get some insight. Or maybe I could, I, could, I, I, I could reach him on like a Chris to Chris basis, you know? He would be like a little bit more trusting of me, you know? And so I could be like, hey, man, what's up with all this? <laughs> I would what's like the pronoun guy to be fun though. Hey yo, uh, did you really fuck your mom or what's good? Like, did that, did that really happen? <laughs> Is that real or did you just say that because you thought yeah. it made you look cool for some yeah, reason? Because some, I could some, see that. Someone I could see that for some him, reason. Uh, someone manipulated Christian again for the fiftieth yeah. time. <laughs> I could see him being like, "Well, if I lose my virginity at all, that would be cool." <laughs> you know what I mean? So he, I could see him lying about it, but also like I could see him doing it too. So it's like it's all. I feel all so fucked. bad for the guy, man. Yeah. yeah, I feel bad for him I'm not, in, in yeah. some sense, but also no, I do feel bad for him like because he's just if he just would have never been on the internet, he might have just turned out like a regular retarded person. <laughs> I was, was so, it, so was I can't even just said that. Show? I can't even sure. that. But that I'm, is that is a wild thing that you just said. Like, you know, you like, was it on this show that we said that there's an argument that yeah, Chris Chan is like um, is what hell is? Yeah, like like the idea like like the idea that everybody. Like everybody, there's that there's that theory about um, reincarnation or whatever that everybody kind of is everybody at some point. Like you die and you just sort of become someone else, and um, everybody is it's like a shared kind of soul almost. And and we experience life uh, through everybody's eyes, and we you know we experience it in real time or whatever. Christian is like where where you go if you've been like a really bad person. Like that's that's the that's the body you get stuck I just, in. I just can't. I can't. It makes sense. Yeah. It would make sense, man. I don't know if I say. I just. I don't think I. I think I, I would take true. the other nerds, and just because yeah. uh, I, I. I feel like it would be like 
You know when uh, the the like the, the dude he had that documentary where he was living amongst the bears and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like <laughs> just want to do that. Just just kind of try to assimilate. The gri- are, are, are you talking about the grizzly man? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, <laughs> yeah. yeah how- I know what happened at the end. I yeah. Know yeah. That, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's so, so funny. It reminds me. It reminds me of uh, of that Norm Macdonald joke where he's like, "You'll never like when when the crocodile hunter died," and he goes like, "Everybody everybody kept calling me." It's like you'll never guess who died. The crocodile hunter. <laughs> yeah, it's like, of it's course. Like, oh, of course he a, fucking A fucking killed. course. <laughs> Got killed by a dangerous animal. Who oh, I, I can't believe that <laughs> Whoa, happened. Crazy. It's like, whoa, a parkourist. You'll never guess... <laughs> You'll never guess how this parkourist died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, let me take a wild stab in bro, the dark. Bro, bro, I've there's so many videos on YouTube of people that are doing parkour fucking up and falling to their deaths. Of course. It's, 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 yeah, like it's all it's over like, YouTube. That you can't... You're only good at that because you're dumb enough to keep trying. It's it's not like you're not ever going to be in a situation where you can use that effectively ever. You, like you're going, you, you are can. going you to can die. Use, you can use it effectively, but when they're on skyscrapers and like that, it's like that shit is just dangerous. There's no well, good reason to be up that high ever. Like if well, you're, the like, thing if about you're it, like if you're living a kind of lifestyle where like you're fucking like tagging shit up, or like if you're robbed, like a person that does parkour, they're probably the ultimate kind of people to rob, rob and mug people because they're gone. Like you, they mug you. They they up a fire escape. You're like, yo, this guy's he's he's up somewhere now. I don't know where he is anymore. I was looking at it for a little bit, and then he did some shimmy, and now I don't know where he is. The, you know that guy that escaped him. prison? Like, <laughs> I think he was a parkour dude because he who? crab walked up a wall. Oh yeah, that yeah, fucking who? guy, that that dude who. Uh, oh my god, that little wait, Mexican guy. Yeah, wait, so what this happened? Dude, wait, 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 some little up. Mexican guy. He like he's like slayed a bunch of people with like a yeah, with he killed weapons someone in or Brazil. Whatever. He killed somebody. Uh, uh, I think he killed his uh, his girlfriend because. She was gonna narc on him for killing somebody, <laughs> and the, so he was in prison, and he was gonna, I think, get sentenced. So he got sentenced, and then he just he crab walked his way up a wall, jumped over some razor wire, and he fucking he bounced. Uh, it's they, crazy. They, it's they like caught Michigan. him like a week later, though. <laughs> oh, oh, they caught him. <laughs> they caught him because what was that guy's name? <laughs> I, I forget his name. Hold on, let me look it up. Yeah, Mexican yeah. killer escape. Yeah, that's yeah, that should um, pop it up. Escaped Pennsylvania prisoner now uh, now armed with a stolen rifle and extremely dangerous police say September twelfth. So that's uh, there, if it's updated because he's he's uh, he, he's been caught. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he me, stole uh... so he stole somebody's twenty two from their garage because at first he escaped because where he escaped there was a lot of brush and a lot of jungle ish type of you know Dan, Dan, Danilo Danilo Cavalcante yeah, taken a, into custody what, after he was seduced uh, seduced subdued. <laughs> <laughs> by, by a police dog. He was seduced by a police dog. I like a big seduced by a Come and fuck me, woof, woof. Come and fuck me, woof, woof. On some Scooby-Doo <laughs> shit. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> bark, bark, fuck me, bark, Ooh. bark. <laughs> bark, bark. <laughs> and he's like, oh, homie, that's a, you, you're pretty sexy, eh? Fuck me, <laughs> Damn, Holmes. Fuck night. me. <laughs> Damn, Holmes. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, kill you, <laughs> I'll kill you later. I'll kill you later. I'll kill you later. I'll kill you later and say, "Fuck me, woof woof, fuck me, <laughs> fuck me, woof woof." <laughs> <laughs> hey, excuse, excuse me, bro. I gotta go fuck this dog real quick, fool. <laughs> oh no, I can't believe it was a police dog. Oh, he got Ay, me. Dios, eh? Ay, Dios, yeah, the dog, the dog's wearing a wire, and it's uh, and it's like under a fucking, it's under a police vest, and he didn't, know, he, he didn't did, know, so. didn't notice. Ay, Dios <laughs> mio, this dog. Freeze, Oh no, no mommy's <laughs> way, you got me. Dude, oh, God, <laughs> oh, they got me, man. All right. Conio, like conio, carajo, they got me. Look, uh, it's, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> the, um, so this, yeah, but no, there's a video. If you look up the video of this dude escaping, it's so funny because he literally just, he, you, like, it's what I used to do in, like, my apartment hallway when I was, like, a child, where you would, like, <laughs> you would walk, you would put your hands on one wall, you'd put your feet on the other and just, like, walk up like that, and he somehow fucking broke out of prison that way. That's insane. That's fucking that awesome. That's, a, that's all that's required to break out of prison. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a movie. You always think, like, oh, that's bullshit, and then this motherfucker does it. It's totally dude, real. Dude, you actually so hear funny. about um, shitty, how shitty uh, prison conditions are, that there are people that make routes for themselves regularly they'll go to mcdonald's they'll go see their girlfriends and then they'll come back to prison that's <laughs> like, crazy. crazy 
<laughs> like it's like it's fucking it's, insane. The prison system is so much. It, like there needs to be a. There's probably some good documentaries on. I'm sure. But it's it's so silly when you actually hear about how dumb the conditions are. There's not enough guards. That everything's fucked, and then people are just like coming in and out. And I'm like, wait, wouldn't you just leave forever? <laughs> Why would you come back in? I don't know, man. People get used to those conditions, man. It's really sad. That is true. That is true. You get institutionalized. That is true. Yeah. You don't gotta right, work. You don't uh, gotta work. You get your three meals a day. You know, it's really, 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 really. We got this one. Like, I do like we got that. this. We got this question. We got this question from Sandwich. That's pretty good. Hello, you combined Oreo. Since you three are so musically inclined, I have to ask: What is the worst line or bar in a song you've ever fucking heard? Personally, I think it has to be the line from Fallout Boys: "We didn't start the fire." Cover Meghan Markle. Oh yeah, <laughs> Meghan Markle, George Floyd, Burj Khalifa, Metroid. <laughs> it's fucking insane. I've never. That, I didn't even what? listen to that song. That's, that's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not that's the awesome. line. That is the line in, in um in the Fallout Boy that's one. That's fucking yeah. awesome. So George Floyd rhymes with Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't that, isn't oh, that awesome? awesome? Wait, what? <laughs> And does you it show, at least does it show a picture least... of Samus fucking like uh, like like uh, what a knee on his neck? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what a knee on his neck and a fucking charge shot waiting behind his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he he right he continues. Uh, there, oh there's just something there's just something hilarious about rhyming George Floyd with Metroid that both feels out of touch and like they didn't even try. Yeah, it's yeah it's it's not a good rhyme and it's also just like not the right place. <laughs> I know that. a pretty fucked up line. It's um, it's from Rick Ross. He's like, "I put Molly on her champagne. She ain't even, she ain't know, even it. know it. I took, I her, took home her home and, home and enjoyed, enjoyed that. that. <laughs> she ain't, she even, ain't know even know it." it. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> "It's the best." I was like, "That Dude. no, but the but the beat that beat is Metro Metro Boomin'. So the beat's fire." And I'm like, oh, "This beat's kind of hypnotic. I fuck with this." And I heard that line. Your I was ears like, perk up like like when you call a dog. Like you're like. <laughs> You're like, you're like, wait, what did he say? She didn't even you know fucking, it. She didn't even know I took her home and enjoyed her, bro. And you fucking are bragging about it. That shit's hypnotic. Yeah, I don't even know it. <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, the one that I would, uh, oh man, the one that I would pick is probably, um, oh fuck, I just had it too. I just had it in my brain. Oh. Uh, Ah no! Oh, okay. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, it was Kid Rock in um fucking Osmosis Jones when he says uh. When he says uh, something like, I like them underage, see? Or whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 I do. Some some, st- some say it's statutory, but I say it's mandatory. That's a line in a and Kid Rock a, song. that's a real line. I'm like, oh, yeah, my yeah, God, oh, my God. So it's like, uh, you know, not you know, not not great. Not There's, a great there one. There has to be some sort of context to clear that up, though. There has to be. No, no, no. He's just, he's just a... Uh, man, the, the amount of... <laughs> The, the amount of snitching that people uh, that artists put in their in their songs is kind of alarming. I mean, even think about uh, R. Kelly. What do you think about um, uh, what is it called? A bump and grind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like ale- allegedly, that song's about um um uh uh, uh, uh Aaliyah, and that's yes. like ultra illegal because he met her. You know, I think he married her when she was fifteen, and he was like twenty seven or something. And like, so he's like, my mind's what? telling me no, but my body, my body telling me yes. And it's like, this song's just about fucking literally statutory rape. <laughs> I was like, yeah. this is crazy. Why would you write it? Why would you do that? It's, it's I gotta like get you these get feelings caught. out. I gotta get these feelings out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really you gotta don't turn it into a song. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. it's one of the things we always say, like, if, if you're gonna be a freak, pervert, whatever, degenerate, like at the very least, keep it Shut your mouth. Shut your fucking self. mouth. <laughs> what Shut your yeah. fucking doing? mouth, at least. Jesus bro. Christ. What are you doing? You th- you think out of just self preservation you would think like yeah I'm not gonna write this song. So what right. happens is that recently because you have there to was... know like even back then when it was like more normal like I mean like it was more through, it, yeah. through all through People all of human it. history for the majority of human history like like fucking old guys have been marrying like fucking thirteen year olds like very, it's it's sad true. but that's that's, that's actually like very real like like it's it's maybe like point zero 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 one percent of all of human history has been uh you know opposed to that generally that's you know true. uh but. Even so, like I feel like you still kind of, I don't know. You have to understand on some level that that that's not great. Yeah, and that you probably shouldn't write. Some, but there's so many instances of that, like in songs too. Like there's so many songs about like ah, she was just she was only fourteen, <laughs> and she makes my peen scream. Like it's just it's fucking crazy. Like Bro, how many about, songs uh, there are. Stacy's mom 
You think about how fucking crazy that that's, song is? That's almost, that's almost the reverse, kind of. It, it is the <laughs> reverse, but it's still kind of a crazy song to write where you're just like, man, I'm really trying to, like, I'm a kid. I'm really trying to fuck this mom. And I'm like, that's, it's, it's fun. It's a fun song, but when you think about it, I'm like, that's, if, it, like we always say, if the roles are reversed, how fucking people would have freaked the fuck out if it was like a, I don't know how old the kid is in the song. Let's just say twelve yeah. or whatever. Stacey's and then there's like this thirty year old, thirty year old dude, and she's like, uh, he's fucking, right. um, yeah, Stacy's dad is got you know, like, and people be like, yo, what's going on? Yeah, why? <laughs> but no, no, imagine, imagine this is gay though. Imagine this is this thirteen year old boy is trying to fuck Stacy's dad. Nah, that's just funny. He's I like that. Persistent. He's like, look, <laughs> he's just, like, look, <laughs> Stacy's dad. I'm I wish done he was acting. my priest. He's Stacey, like he locks the door. He, he walks is the, the dad's priest doing for laundry. Me. He like walks in, locks the door. And look, someone's getting <laughs> fucked right now, man. There's one of us. <laughs> yeah, How do you guys feel about this? Uh, this because uh, Chris Evans recently got married, right? And he's he's 42, and he got married to a 26 year old. 26. He got married again. I mean, you can know what you want. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know he was married before. He got married. He's married uh, again. I didn't know because he married a very married old before. woman before his first uh, wife. I didn't. I didn't woman. know that. So he just yeah, he just married down. Well. Um, I will say it's past the age of the, uh, the, 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 when there's the, there's this thing going on online in the Manosphere <coughs> Christian sect where t- past right. 25 is just, is, is broken. So it's, at least it's not That's that so thing. crazy. It is. That's it's, so nuts. It's, it's, it's literally insane. I mean, it's true, uh, yeah. but like, it's nuts. It's true, but insane. like, it's nuts. It's true. It's, but, like, it's, it's, it's true, nuts. but it's mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, okay. She's 26. That's so crazy. I, my whole thing is it's. I just I, – I need to see the dynamic before I can judge. It's kind of like um, – I don't know if you guys seen Boogie 2988's uh, recent girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I am mm. one of those people that mm. even though it is legal, I'm like there's no – like this is a, a – tr- this chick is hurting – she is not, you know, this is... It's not well, people. And, and, and it's not even, yeah, and it's not even me speculating. They have said publicly that they bonded over trauma, and I'm like, oh, of course. That's literally... She's 20 years uh, old. That's, he's like literally a tra- that's literally a trauma bond, and it's like the worst possible way. In that, the worst possible it's, way. It's so funny that they, that that was like a publicized thing that he said. <laughs> that like he, he said like, that. And he's also 50, and he, she's yeah, like, almost. what, like 20 she's or something? 20. She's 20. And, that's uh, that's that's crazy. Look, like, and, and if you look at her, like it, all the signs, because she's she's um she she's admitted that she doesn't have a good relationship with her parents. Oh, uh, you look at her; she is she's she's thin. She uh she's very much into drugs. Um, like this is just yeah, me. This is me yeah. like looking into it for like ten minutes, and I'm like, oh, I see what this is. Look, and looks like go. Arkansas. <laughs> look, 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 look. So let me be real. Let me let me let me let me be real. Let me be real. Let me be real. Chris yeah, yeah. Evans is Chris Evans, right? There's yeah, no yeah, he, shortage of pussy world. he can't get. Yeah. All right. He right. Can, yeah. Yeah. He can marry. I think. Any- I, think I think the Chris. I, I, by the way, I, just to be clear, I think the Chris Evans is fine. I'm like, fine. I think if you're, tw- if, you're young, 20, if you're 25 and over, like quite yeah. frankly, like you're a fucking adult. You know what you're fucking doing. I knew. Look, man. If if <laughs> I would know what I was doing at like tw- personally, I would know what I was doing at 22. Like if I if sure. I was if I was like sure. if I was like try- if I was dating like I don't know some. Some, uh, some Sofia cooter? Vergara or something. You know what I mean? Like Sofia Vergara at twenty two is like. L- let me tell you something. I know what I'm doing. Right. I know what I'm doing at twenty at twenty two. I know what I'm doing at twenty six. You absolutely shit. know what you're doing. It's fine. The, I, I guess the only thing that would change it would be like how long they've been da- like if 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 it was like they were dating when she was like twenty. You know, like you know what I mean. Like if it was like a six year relationship or something, and then like the end of they got married, like that would be fucking a little. A little bizarre, a little bit, a bit. A little weird. Not look, look, entirely. Look, I think, I think you know, still totally look, legal. First, personally, for yeah, me, yeah. right? Even for me, right now, someone that is twenty-five, I feel it's a bit young for me. Even me, currently, mm-hmm. right now, I'm I'm in a relationship. So this is if, hypothetically, if I wasn't, I could sleep with someone else potentially like twenty-two years old at like my ter- current twenty-nine year old age, but I wouldn't date. Right, right. So I wouldn't date someone. Well, there is, yeah, there is a difference between like somewhere. hooking up and dating. I think dating is a lot more like. But I also there's, find there's a it lot very, more. In- but I find it very weird. It's very weird to hold people like I can't wait that she's eighteen because then I'm. That's it's like, fucking crazy. Like, it's like, dude, dude, <laughs> her the, being the fucking bad baby seventeen thing? is a day ago. You're a fucking creep, bro. Like, watch yourself. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah that's insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, a- but it kind of shows you that. Um, 
I, I don't freak. I don't freak the out as much. It's very like arbitrary. That because it's very arbitrary. At it, the same time, it I'm not. Absolutely, being. is arbitrary. At the same time, it, it if, totally is. If that makes my, sense. My main concern is because my main concern because obviously most of these perverts, the reason why they go after younger women, uh, younger sorry, young girls is because oh, easily to, you get you can fuck. It's easier to to sleep with them than someone who's much more mature and and and, right, and has yeah. more self respect. Blah blah blah. Um, those people, I'm like, okay, scumbags. I don't freak out about them as much as ones that are actual, you know. I like, I like, I love what people say now, and I, I've never like PDF file. I love that. This is the way <laughs> to get around it. I, I love it. It's so clever. So people say PDF files where people who want the prepubescent and stuff. Because my whole thing is my, my brain can never even compute a little bit. These yeah, like yeah. these perverts that are waiting for you said bad baby to turn 18 because at the very least I'm like this bitch was like. Uh, dressing all uh, scantily clad, and she's like, oh, entering womanhood and shit. So at least they're not like, oh, let me get this stick figure vessel thing. And some reason I want to like that shit is crazy to me. Like, it's I'll upsetting. never, I'll never understand it. I can't understand it. But um, I know why the freaks want to do the bad because they think I, that like, oh, I this little young girl, she's stupid and and easily manipulative. I, I, have I, a I, I know what they're who, trying to who, do. Who is very young in appearance. And the way people come onto her makes me feel really uncomfortable because, yeah, it's. I think Chris uh-huh. knows this person, and it's you think, <laughs> and it makes me feel very uncomfortable because every time the person shows maturity, you go in the comments, and you see a lot of people very angry about this person acknowledging. That they are still an adult. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with people, dude? Yeah. Like, their whole ass profile, with, like their mom and dad following them. And they just like, ah, oh, ill. Don't show that. It's like, <laughs> don't show this person's a uh, legal aged adult. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely weird. I, uh, let me ask you guys that's something. That's weird. How do you guys feel about the uh, the schoolgirl outfit, f- like fetish or kink or whatever? How do you f- how do you feel about that? Uh. I thought it was cool when I was thirteen. <laughs> and then yeah, so I grew up. <laughs> I grew up. I gotta out of tell it. I you like, oh. that there. I I do so. I totally understand the because I'm one of the people that I don't really see it as it's not anything. I think I don't think of my wife like oh I wish she would go get like a schoolgirl outfit or whatever because I that's not as a as a you know a guy in his 30s I don't care about school or anything like that it doesn't excite me. But I will say there's some people and I'm trying to just be fair. I think there's some people that they just like the skimpiness of it. They are skimpy. Like when it's I like that, that and it's not actually the, oh, yeah, like, just, oh, I want to fuck up. Yeah, just the, there are obviously like schoolgirl uniforms that are like, th- that they're made to specifically be like. Right. And it's not b- like. Borderline lingerie. And that's, yeah, that's and not, not like really that. Traditional that's not, yeah, that's not that Catholic, weird Catholic, long yeah. skirt thing. And you're like, oh man, I just, I wish you were a high school. I guess, but it is, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not trying to kink shame. I think it is. Overall, no, I, I, I think am, it's a little I bit am, weird. I'm going to do that. Overall, it's a little bit weird to me just because like i feel like the, uh, people want to do the role playing or something and um, I guess, yeah. I i'm know. not i'm not really you know, personally i'm not i'm not into the i can't like, be acting i can't be acting and look look man i i, <laughs> I did it one time dude and if it you was... want me to, if you want me to act you better fucking pay <laughs> yeah. right cuz that's a fucking that's a i'm not I, I look i'm not an actor okay i'm not here to fucking pretend to be a fucking teacher or something like get the no yeah. I didn't. Right. I didn't like it. So someone, someone wanted to do that shit, like act, do like a thing. I was in. I was in. I, I hated play. that. Like I was I, in a I, race I, play for a while, and I stopped dude, for a that's, while. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> that's, I'm sorry. That's rough. <laughs> that's that's. I can. I'm I can imagine kidding. that. Kidding. That's the most. Do people that like? I know dudes that let that slide. I'm like, bud, you deserve better than that. You deserve better <laughs> than to before you get pussy, got to get called the N word like three times. Yeah, that's, you that's, des- wild. Everyone that's pretty des- fucking. Yeah. Everyone that's wild. deserves better than that. Anything for <laughs> no pussy, one- man. <laughs> it's like, bro, that's it's really good pussy. It's like, it can't be that good, dog. She called you the N word, <laughs> man. <laughs> you gotta sit with that. You gotta, you gotta sit with being called the N word, the hard dick, bro. What if she doesn't? What, what, what if you guys fuck up and you guys don't finish that night? You just got called the N word like three times and sit there with a hard dick until the rest of the morning. Or what if he busted faster? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate it. Like he didn't even. He just fucking. Just, he didn't even right, touch. It. He didn't even touch anything. <laughs> Oh, thanks. He falls asleep. <laughs> you're like dis- you're so disappointed. <laughs> you're so disappointed that you came so hard when she calls it the N word. I fell asleep, right, well, bro. Well, instantly knocked out. You're still gonna let it happen though because we'll start, that was a we'll, good bust. 
We'll start wrapping. We'll, wrap we'll start wrapping, wrapping things. I'm I'm fucking starving right now. I need to eat. I haven't eaten all day, all and right. uh, we still have another the other episode to record later. Um, uh, so uh, let's wrap this baby up. But first, I want to answer one question because oh yeah, let's do it. Uh, th- this is just directed at me, but it's it's a quick one. And I just want to get it off the list. She sells seashells by the seashore, and he sells seashells on the seafloor road. And he says, "Hello, Jen. Simple question for you: Is Chris Raygun named after the Raygun from COD Zombies? Do you enjoy the series? No, it, it has nothing to do with that. It literally just." I've explained this a couple times, but like I'm, I'm sure there are new people. I just didn't know what to, I didn't want my last name to be part of my channel, and so I, it was just Chris Ray for a while. But that felt like incomplete, and I just kept trying to find stuff to put after it. And Gun was the only thing that worked, and that was what my name was when everything kind of started exploding. And I was like, "Well, I'm stuck here." I this thought it was the Ronald Ray Gun, but I guess not. No, yeah. <laughs> that's what a lot of people, dude. A lot of people would say that. A lot, the, 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 the unhinged fucking like. Uh, like progressive people would, would <laughs> like they would always be like he's fucking named after Reagan. I've never even considered that. Like, I'm, if you're saying, I'm if your kidding name because Ronald I know Reagan, you. Like, I sure. know you, so I'm kidding with the idea that people thought that. Hey, that was a real. That was a very, very real criticism that was levied, and I was. It, it blew my mind because I was like, I'd never once thought of that ever in my <laughs> fucking life. I just didn't want to be Chris Ray because that's not anything. Also, that was a baseball player, I'm pretty sure, somewhere, and I was like, fuck. Uh, and there's nothing that goes after. There's nothing else that you can put after that fucking name. Yeah, That's it. Ray Ban. It's it. You're pretty much Ray Ban. So it makes no fucking sense. <laughs> you, should it to, you should change it. You should change. You should change it to Chris Gay Gun during Pride Month, man. I did that. You did? Oh, yeah. I, I, I usually thought, do that. I thought I was like, I came with this idea. I must have seen it and been like, ah, oh, man, I'm gonna tell him about that, and I fell asleep. <laughs> no, I, I did that. <laughs> I thought it was my I, own idea. <laughs> no, I did that in like 2015 too. Like when, when, like, because that was what people were calling me, and I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> um, anyway, yo, Ronnie Ray, Ronnie Reagan is kind of dope. That's a kind of Ronnie dope Reagan. Name. Yeah, yeah. We have a uh, we have a uh, some some bumper stickers on on sacred symbols that have because uh, Colin Moriarty's last name is Moriarty and mine's and, and it, we have like the same like a uh, Bush Reagan. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it says Moriarty Reagan on it. Nice, pretty good. I like but, that. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's Fuck. let's get on to reading these fucking names. I ooh, forgot ooh, we, we, ooh. we still don't have any new. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, gotta, all right. I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm both. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's read these names. Uh, active. There we go. Twenty five. All right. Count me down. Three, two, one. Done. Uh, <laughs> uh, there goes my. What? There goes my homo. Watch him as sh- sh- as he blows. Nice. Very good. There goes my, my homo. homo. <laughs> Watch him as he blows. So fucking stupid. Shama Lama Long Schlong. I'm 44 episodes behind and catching up quickly. This is a threat. Yeah. <laughs> Yanti. <laughs> uh, Walmart Berg. Uh, NDC13, uh, Cyphergraph, professional sink pisser. They should put a GoPro on EDP to show what happens to him. The only Snark Tank patron, patron to have both justifiably and verbally, verifiably shot and killed not just one but two people. His balls are sweaty. D's weak. Arse is heavy. Oh, British. Arse is heavy? Nice. Uh, he's, <laughs> there's semen on his sweater already. Starfish spreading. Star- <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. I like that. The S- semen on his sweater already is one that I've already... You know, honestly, <laughs> you know, honestly, honestly, there's something there. No. That could be fucking one. Yeah. Splooge yourself? You splooge, that's that's you pretty. Yourself. That's not fucking bad at all. That's not bad. I, I, the semen on your sweater already is something that I say to myself, like... <laughs> regularly so uh, it's already there for sure that's pretty funny. that's pretty good man that's not it. bad that's good we'll we'll, we'll, we'll think we'll look, we'll look into, into it, it. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll we'll put some r&d into that uh adolfo the twink lord of cum and master of man ass nice. sweeney lick my weenie keith david all their dicks are brown all their dicks are brown and and this is and this guy is gay yeah this guy is gay i've sucked on a cock i don't know what this is i don't know what this one um, is sorry damn uh, Sorry, Benjamin Aaron Shapiro. <laughs> you imagine? Uh, come in my ass. You're drilling me. Drilling me. All all I want is your ooze. I don't know what that is Damn. Either. Fuck. We're getting stumped. Is, we're what getting stumped weird here. Fucking denates. Like, what's up, man? You gotta put the song you're parroting next to it eventually. Yeah, yeah. At, 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 at the know. very least. Well, this is, I, I do like guessing it, but it, we're just, damn. 
Whatever. I do like coming in my ass, coming in my ass, coming in my ass. All the dicks are gay. All the dicks are brown. All the dicks are brown. Coming in my ass, 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 coming in my ass. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. That's so fucking good. That's awesome. I love that. All right, uh, Caucasian container, the Cracker Barrel for gays. Keith David, Tinfoil Tyrant, because I'm a hex girl and I'm gonna put put my cum on you. Yes. Putting blackface on my light bulbs. Keith David raped my dragon. Uh, Max Silhouette, Sweeney, 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 swallow up my peeny. Bend my dick, come in or snatch sings and the signs, and the signs some cock were written on the bathroom stalls. Dick and balls. Uh, she pipkin on my pippa possum. Yes, that's probably my real name. I tried uh, the B W O. I tried the Buffalo Wild Wings cheese curds and ju- and they're just okay. No, man, you got to try them with caramel. You're missing you you missed the whole fucking point. What a you chim. missed the entire point. You got to put you got to ask them for the caramel dip. Mm. Trust me. Go climb up a tree and fall out of it. I mean, that's unreal. That's pretty mean. Uh, the man's <laughs> the man tree. who's outside your window. I'm not using I'm not using stilts. I'm just that tall. Uh, that's average clip terrifying. energy. That's really scary, actually. When you, uh, you're, looking, you're on the fifth floor, you look like you know some guy walks past your window. Dude, I used to like, have this really, I used fuck? to have this insane fear. I used to have this insane fear of, like, looking out my window on my fifth story uh, apartment in Yonkers and just seeing a guy's shadow. Like a person, like a person's shadow. Because the very idea of that is so mind-bendingly scary that I was just like, I can't, I would shut my windows, like, I would I would close the blinds. I would w- put the curtains up just so I didn't have a chance of seeing it. Yeah. If I was like, if I lived like the fifth floor and I saw somebody outside my window, I would push them. <laughs> so when they hit the floor, they're doomed. Like falling down like that, <laughs> get that much arc. They hit the ground when your head touches the floor. Shit's blowing right. up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm a black belt in hate speech. Damn, wrote in. Very he says, cool. uh, uh, "Star Coffee." Um, I didn't. He didn't write in. He's, I'm reading the names. I'm sorry. I'm getting fucking. I'm so hungry. I'm delirious. Star Coffee. A mob of cock goblin goblin mobsters. Robin Robin Williams grave. Damn. Uh, Gollum and Smeagol arguing over whether to say the n word. Transform Gremlin exposing people with lactose intolerance to 90 million rotagens of ionizing radiation. Yush, not Vin Pen. The Angelic Dungeon Master presents Game of Thrones Special Victims Unit. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Craig the Canadian. Dun, dun. Richard Richard Fisting declares that Craig the Canadian is dead. Parentheses, maybe. It's your boy, Shawnee D. 9-11-2. This time it's personal. Uh, Stupid. Uh, I can't believe... Did you... By the way, I know this is like tangential to anything that we care about really on this show, but did you see... Because even I know about this. That's how I know it's a big deal. Did you see what happened to the Jets? What, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. fucking. That's what so fucking exactly? crazy. So Aaron Rodgers, who's this like big star quarterback that they got, yeah. like he he they, he played for the, the Jets have sucked for a really really long time. Mm-hmm. So the fact that they got this guy, and they they like there was like a lot of hope. It was like oh man, the Jets are going to do well this year because they got Aaron Rodgers. And like I think in like the first, like I don't he, know if it was the first play I think it was or it was four like, plays in. He tore his Achilles. Four plays in. He tore his. He tore his Achilles tendon. And he's just out for the he's rest of the year. The and, and so <laughs> he's so old. Who knows if he's even going to come back after this? Yeah, bro. he might not. He might not play again. And I, I know that. Like, look, we're not sports people. I'm not a sports person at all. But the fact that I know this at all is you know why t- I know should, you know should, about should, this. Should, should, isn't isn't Colin a fucking Colin. Jets fan? <laughs> it's Colin. It's Colin. And so and so people. But like, it wasn't even because of Colin necessarily. It's because people were coming into my chat <laughs> while I was streaming Starfield yeah. and saying you and saying check on Colin, make sure he's okay. <laughs> make sure he's okay. Yeah. So I thought about. Shit, I literally thought about that. I was like, I wonder what Colin thinks right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it is crazy. He's like on the floor, all just in a fetal position. <laughs> Dude, we did we did the we did a sacred with, with just us because Dustin's in Japan, and he was like, we spent thirty minutes talking about it, and he, and he was like, the the blunt answer, the blunt answer is like people were asking me how I am. I was like, the answer is like I'm not okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I felt bad for laughing, but it was Dude, just so it was Jets so funny to hear that. Good since I was in high school, they were like Bro, the Jets have been bad for a while. They school. haven't been. I, I was not since the fucking. They weren't 60s, even good enough, man. bro. They, no, even, they were, no, they were pretty my decent. My entire lifetime, they are not. In the 2012. The 20, they, they, between 2012 they were and 2010. Not, uh, 2011, you're thinking. Decent's yeah. not good enough, man. They want no, they a were, fucking they made chip. It, they made it to the end of their um, their conference. They were almost they decent, a, and then they fucking they lost. They need a championship, brother. Anyway, the point is that like it's it, that's such a crazy thing to happen. It's so unlucky. Like The Jets are cursed. Crazy. And what's even, what's even crazier about it to me is that not only did it happen to the Jets... 
But it happened to the Jets on 9-11, which is amazing. <laughs> New York's this unlucky day, man. Like, N- New York, Jets, and 9-11 do not fucking mix, man. That's the second time. Damn. That's the second fucking time. <laughs> How nutty is that? How fucking that's cosmic shit. I was telling Colin, I was like, you couldn't write this and have it be believable. That is very like it wouldn't be believable if this happened. Yeah, you'd be like, that's so shitty fucking, writing. Like, why would you? Has do it been that? twenty years one since of, one of Aaron Rodgers' towers? <laughs> yeah, it's been twenty years. Down. Yeah, the twin. It was the twin <laughs> tower. The first, the, his legs of the twin towers, and the first tower went down. <laughs> 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 oh, poor Aaron, man. I like. I, I, well, I actually, yeah, honestly, fuck, dude, fuck he must be. I forgot. Dude, well, I why? used to like him, but then he he was like, Ugh. he he became one of those anti-vax freaks, and he started oh. going on like on the uh, doing like podcast and shit, yeah, and being he like, was, he was, <laughs> maybe that's why. Maybe that's why he's Achilles tendon tour. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm not getting my Achilles vax uh, uh, Achilles medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my Achilles back. <laughs> like, Dude, it's so funny. Imagine getting a plane. Imagine getting a call like uh, a, t- a a tear has hit. Uh, a tear has hit Aaron Rodgers' Achilles tendon. <laughs> <laughs> a tear has hit. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> oh fuck! All right, I, was- <laughs> I, for- I totally forgot to touch on that because it's like so so uh, you know. It- but it did happen. It was like one of the big things that actually that's did happen. That's so unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, best wishes to uh, Whatever. Colin. Yeah, yeah, that's really. Yeah. I only feel bad for Colin. I don't really feel bad for Aaron. That guy's a fucking infinity billionaire. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah, he'll be fine. Just and also, like, I didn't know he was living. anti-vax. I feel significantly less bad for him. Now. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about um, it too. Right, I started thinking about his character. I was like, oh yeah, he's a piece of yeah. shit. Yeah, he's probably he probably <laughs> thought he was fine. He's probably like, oh, I'm, so, I'm old, but like whatever. I fucking I take this homeopathic medicine and like fucking yeah. who cares. Yeah, he probably got COVID like twenty times. <laughs> yeah, he got he's COVID eighty brittle. times. It weakened his fucking legs. <laughs> Imagine getting COVID so many times, your legs are weaker. Like, you actually have your legs, and your legs are like fucking rubble. And they're like, yeah, Sir, Brett, please yeah, stop fucking, getting COVID. Stop getting this. I'm just fine. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. still alive. My legs are fucking weak. Bread tastes like soil, and water tastes like red. But, like, fucking whatever. Like, whatever. I, I'm throw, fine. Let me throw you the fucking ball. <laughs> yeah. Is there, like, training footage of him where, like, he's, like, fucking, like, noodles and shit? He's like, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. He's like a wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man. <laughs> Okay, let's stop. Let's stop. What's the next day? Let's go. Let's go. Let's he's, go. Fucking, he's wailing around like a fucking wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing tube, man. That's awesome. I'm good. Put me in the game. He looks like Reed Richards, bro. His fucking body's yeah. all sorts of silly, bro. It's better than crudely painted, not so funny plywood cutout folk art. That, that'd be worse. Um, uh, all right. Let's. Uh, yeah. Matt Walsh is a hero of our time, sweet being for life. Uh, ben and Jerry's Funky Monkey. Uh, Indie Butter Knife on YouTube. Ben and Jerry. That reminds, that reminds me. I have ice cream in my freezer, and I haven't. Nice. Even opened. I've had it for like weeks. How you have too much is ice the, cream. does ice cream? Ice cream's fine for a long time, right? It, yeah. I assume unless for a it while. starts getting freezer burn, it's good. I mean, but freezer burn's not that big of a deal, is it? It it's just makes spoiling. it taste not good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably fucking. I don't know. I got to fucking. I don't know. I don't it, like ice cream. I don't take, know why I bought it. It'll take a long. T- oh, fuck. I love. But my problem is I love ice cream. That's my fucking problem. I like it, but it fucks my stomach up. I like it less than I was oh. with Lily. Lily sugar, loves maybe? ice cream. I think so. I think it's a sugar thing more yeah. than anything. Because I already kind of like, I'm already drinking so much tea with sugar in it already. So like, mm, gotcha. But uh, all right, Indie Butter Knife on YouTube. I reckon if the Flash rapidly tensed and untensed his dick in bitches, in a bitch's mouth, it'd sound like a fleshy rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is crazy. Hell yeah! Because that implies dude. that there's like a loose kind of. Like almost like in like a spray ca- in like a spray that paint is can, the like craziest the, the ball. thing I've ever heard in my life. Rapidly <laughs> tensed and untensed. You, you can only tense your dick so fast. I mean, uh, uh, one the every flash. like one tense every two seconds. I would imagine, right? <laughs> like the I, flash I, I don't. True, he can tense it faster. That's He's true. Just yeah. a faster person. Yeah. Three <laughs> XO buying buying Raycons in 2020 and them shocking my ear and ceasing function shortly after the warranty expired. Damn. What? That <laughs> Damn. That's so crazy. I, I've had my Raycons for years. I don't yeah. even say that as like a, I don't even say that as like a sponsor. Like I get that like they help. I mean they they help me a lot. But like I mean just genuinely like I don't know. They they they've been fine for me. Yeah, same. Um, uh, slurping, stroking, smoking, joking. Uh, emoticons going like this. Morning, Alec Keith, David. My name is Pingus Parker. I was bitten by a radioactive dinner, and for over fifteen years, I've been YouTube poop man. Yeah. Pingus uh, dinner. <laughs> 
uh, <laughs> little fucking YouTube piece of news. To the tune of Hey Jude by the Beatles. Hey, dude. Come over here. Get on your knees and suck my penis. <laughs> It's so t- <laughs> that's, that's not bad. I would have. I would have liked. Uh, it could be workshopped a little yeah, bit, but that's, yeah, yeah. there's there's something there for sure. There is something I like that. Hey, Jude, be a good. One. <laughs> hey, hey, dude. But fuck so dudes terrible. in the dead of night. We well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Obi won't you blow me, Keith David? Uh, guy, it's a lot of Keith David's like spread out. Guy Avi to the tune of <laughs> to the tune of killing in the name of what sucking and I'm gay. Uh, I don't know. Sucking I don't know about that. Gay, uh. I don't know about that. There's, there's more to that. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. there's that, that string of hieroglyphics that I couldn't pronounce. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I, yeah. The, the, I'm the sorry, man. Like called a prayer. Oh, yeah. That, that You translated it. That's right. I forgot. No, something um, like a law bar or something. I remember. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something funny and topical. Wage Slay 583. I feel gay. Fuck you. The Papini Brothers Emporium tries to get Vegeta to say, I swallow cum uh, on stream. Nice. Uh, Donk Donkerson. Quiet, quitting, and queefing queer. Keith David. William <laughs> William Harrington, <laughs> let's get down to bussy to defeat these buns. Uh, tell him Steve to Dave bussy to defeat the buns. Feet. The the buns. To do. These buns. <laughs> Did they send me penis when I asked, when I asked for cum? cum. <laughs> You're the saddest <laughs> cock I've ever I've seen. Ever. And, okay. <laughs> that's, that's not bad. All right, so look, we've got a couple. We've, we've got, got a couple here. For and sure. indeed, we've got, this we dick got is prospects. True. I swear, I <laughs> imagine, will imagine stop coming the, everything inside of yeah, you. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me write in. Let me let me write these down fuck so we don't forget. Ass or fuck, fuck up, man. man. You must be and thick as fuck a fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck up, <a> man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck a man's good, man. That's good. Fuck must up, be man. thick as a coursing and we're <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh let's, let's, oh, let's rely. I hate when that that rhymes and it works perfectly. With all the straight up and in the c word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, uh, fuck a man, Mulan, <laughs> gay son. There was another one that was uh, the idea was, of uh, being hey, gay and racist is so funny. Hey Jude Gay. Hey Jude Gay. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just taking notes. Hey Jude Gay. (laughs) Hey Gay Jude. (laughs) Parentheses Gay. You must so be thick and keep it. getting bigger. Yeah. Fuck up. You know, oh, man. Sides with Coom. I love. I love the fuck up, man. Just in, with all <laughs> these fuck dudes up, in yeah. Yeah. and and everyone up, saying that out loud. Everybody's watching you fuck this other dude. The whole entire group <laughs> is watching you fuck this other dude. And everybody's saying that is really good. I hate how good that is. Yeah, and it just makes sense too because Shang was like all into fucking ping, you know. So it makes sense. He was a little fuck sweet. the shit out of dude Mulan. All right. Uh, t- tell as him soon as he found out he was, he was a girl, he was like, yo, I'm gay and I'm fine with it. He was like, I'm fine <laughs> so with I'm it. I'm gay and Not I a don't furry. want you, Mulan. <laughs> Not a furry. I just I just want to fuck a wombat, a mean lesbian, John Strickland, armored whole sex, <laughs> fires of <laughs> fires of rubbing cocks. So dumb. Um uh, Merck's 1889. I'm such a I'm such a dog, I bite at the fart bubbles in the bath. <laughs> Oh my god. I know that quote. I, I know that. I know what that's from. There's this so let me hold on. I can find this so there's this video of this guy with like this there's this video of this old guy with like a painted on hairline with like printer ink and he's just saying all this fucking all this insane shit. That is and the that's, most that's subhuman thing I've ever heard in my life. That is the I've most almost this. person it thing is, I've ever heard in my yeah, life. Yeah, I I I've I've seen it on TikTok every now and again. Wait, what? And it just, it's just some guy, just like I, I. I don't know if I can find it. You gotta send me sure. that if you find it. You gotta send me that. Like, I'll send it. it. It is the most unhinged, he like parts of dialogue the I've ever. Bites at it like a dog. It's like what is dude? Because that's not even you? that's not even the most insane shit that he says in that video. It's like that's like on the lower end of of just. It's so fucking mind. I mean, it's like I'm. I, I I can't even replicate it. There's no way. But I'll send it to you immediately after this episode. Because I'll, I'll be able to find... <laughs> if I'm such a dog, I bite at the fart bubbles in the bath, dude. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> the, 
The first church of Keith David featuring the unholy uh, choir consisting of six unique and slightly altered clones of Keith David. The universe where Peter Parker is a Klansman. Pre-Roz, Blake896, Gay Jonah Gameson, chief editor of the Gailey Bugle. Cop shoots a Pomeranian out of fear that his hit, the dick is bigger than his. Alaskan oil field trash. Texas tater salad. Peanut butter and cummy sandwich. Uh, Sue Hulk. Tickle my ass hairs. Nikki Ziggy. Marcus. Marcus's pronouns are he, him, and Dom's are was, was, were. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's good. JFK's head uh, was on it. Was an IED. <laughs> uh, every. <laughs> Every time I come, it sounds like Squidward walking, Jackson DuPont, Bradley Brave, Hugger Derek, Bulk, first disciple of fitness. Of the fitness. Nice. Oh, nice. That's a destiny thing. Uh, Ethereum, Progerian Hunter, Melfus One, Hexblade, Warlock Supremacist, and as always, rounding out our list, King of Haphazard. Thank you so much. This has been fucking ridiculous. This episode started off a little slow and got more and more insane as it went on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here. Yeah. I found. Hey, man. I'm a dog. I'm biting the fart bubbles in the bath. We smoking symbiotes. We smoking, smoking that Whoopi Goldberg South Egyptian Fur Burger Deluxe Mega Million Scratch. You gotta send me this. Bubbles. You have to. Dude, send it is. Me this. It is. The hell it is, is fucking. So it's called. Uh, oh, the only caption that's on this is Dracula Flow. Dracula. I don't know. So like, I'm sure if you Google, if anybody's listening and you Google Dracula flow, maybe you'll find it. But it's it's just this guy with this fake painted on hairline with like printer ink with shades oh saying God. this fucking obnoxious shit. It's the first um, thing that popped up when I yeah, it's, it is Dracula. You, when you look up Dracula, it's the Dude, first thing. His, his hair is crazy. This is madness. This is madness. <laughs> <laughs> it's to the point where I almost want to do what he's doing. I got, like, I want to smoke his weed so bad. <laughs> I want to smoke his weed so bad. Okay, we're leaving now. Bye. We're leaving. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Goodbye, oh everybody. my god, something something crazy just happened. But like, I'll, I'll save it. I'll, I'll I'll tell off screen. Okay, that's, that's kind of nuts. Peace also, out, niggas. also, oh, just quickly, we got, we got, okay. just quickly. What? Are, are you guys still recording? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Sweeney was right about the onion. I just wanted to fuck with him. Yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. I, I was. I I knew you were gaslighting him, and fucking I was gonna. Like, I, should, I should. I should play along too. <laughs> you guys both suck <laughs> massive dick. <laughs> yeah, so I saw the little onion sitting on top of it. I ain't gonna say shit. You guys couldn't. I break saw it too. And I was like, that's just a purple. I saw. I saw too. I was like, that's just a purple part of the fucking tomato. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. We'll get the fuck out of here.